Fine. Fine. Well, you got anything oh, for shit. us? Oh shit! Oh, you bitch ass. Tell me when you tell me like it start. Uh, what is up, guys? It's your boy, the real Debbie here, storytelling another uh, chapter of the Aegis Ackley, chapter 11, to be more specific. Uh-huh. Looked at the uh, stream title again, I see. We don't talk about the stream title. <laughs> so, we will be having... <laughs> uh, I don't believe we that those were around in that time period, Demi. <laughs> Uh, mage. <laughs> Technocracy came early. So, uh, just to note, this session may or may not be later or earlier be for people watching the stream, mostly because, uh, Adolphus has issues with a hurricane and craft will be late, so we'll see what happens. Um, but, for the time being, let's, uh, have a small recap of what happened. You had a little bit of a scuffle with a Nosferatu, which led to a bit more aggression and scuffling with the help of the sheriff that led you guys finally into this, uh, the, this crypts, these catacombs. Demi, you know, I really think that I should, I taught you better than this. It's session 11 and we haven't asked or seen anyone really asked other than the plot, uh, so far. <laughs> Where's the fucking jihad, you bitch? Yeah, welcome to... You're not supposed to see people get fucking ashed. See, I remember the way real Camaro City works is that uh, Tremere battle badges torch other vampires in the street. <laughs> That's just how it be. Maybe the real jihad is the friends we get along the way, Chris. What, you mean like William? I wouldn't call him a friend. <laughs> You're something of an acquaintance. Um... But you guys went to the catacombs, did some uh, scurrying around and investigation, where you found out that this, uh, at least this part of the catacombs where you guys are, seemed to have been filled with uh, sarcophagi, filled with nothing but ash, and leading to uh, have a presumption of a... This is a place where vampire, kindred rather, were uh, buried after their final death. You craft also, if I remember right, or rather Severin, uh, found also some little uh, nitpicks from the past in the form of coins and jewels. Uh, and, Domino, you've also seen uh, some familiar uh, sign symbols, that being of Celtic uh, and Druidic signs. But also, uh, you've also, both you, Treblana, and uh, Lambert, you've also seen parts of Latin. So there's definitely a, a diversity here in terms of religion and what these vampires belong to. Uh, but one sarcophagus and uh, general got your guys attention that being the one of uh, the Cal calidia remus also known by some as chlamydia uh where you were able to find that she had nothing inside her sarcophagus in terms of the ash which the other sarcophagus had and also had a uh, symbol which seemed to have been basically the um theater sad face but with thorns around and one of the uh, thorns sort of going up the side of the eye and sort of blinding it out. Uh, made out of dark ink, which uh, Severin was able to find out that was very emotionally um, drawn by a female figure. Which brings us to the present. After the uh, investigation of this room, you guys have scoured this place pretty thoroughly and you domino throughout your investigation and in, you know the eyes of chaos you're able to find out you know that there are obviously tracks leading up and behind and there's some more fresher than others that sort of lead uh further and uh the next destination you guys have besides this is the one that simply goes north uh the tunnels to the side uh do those uh, uh those are end? Or are they... Uh, those, are, those are dead ends. Those are simply extensions of this place, which has more sarcophagus in them. And we've checked those as well. Yeah. I'm just putting this dead, the entire investigation of the place. And there's nothing valuable in any of them, um, besides what Severin was able to find, some small nitpicks. So, a lot of nothing valuable that we know of. I mean, you could take the entire sarcophagus if you want. 
No, no, I'm just remarking on the fact that uh, Severin has stolen from the party and there will be consequences if we ever find out. Ah. Fair enough. That is uh, Severin's... Um, you guys do notice, though, that Severin seems to be awfully... Hmm, this is kind of meta-y, but at the same time, because Kraft's not here, but at the same time, it fits so well. You know, Severin seems to be a little bit quiet, uh, seemingly uh, zoning out at times, but... Uh, He's there, present, and somewhat listening, but uh, it's almost as if he isn't there. <laughs> yes, this place is affecting us all. <laughs> I do find it extremely disturbing. The uh, four uh, ghouls that you have uh, by your side as well um, are still keeping a watch at the exit, and uh, you know, you check behind to see if you know anything maybe scuttle them around or something but you know the ones at the south seem to still be there and the ones at the north still seem to be present as well okay uh, shall we head deeper into this uh one second memorial uh, site i assume one second um uh tomno is gonna or a site that uh, check the goals in particular he's looking for Anything fucky in their auras that might indicate magic or mind control having been worked on them. Just in case someone's, you know, come past and be like, nope, I wasn't here. Or something like that. Okay. Uh, then you can roll me uh, the perception empathy. And I think the difficulty was eight for our side, right? Ah, uh, yes. Yes, it was. Nope. You... Try and use, you know, your, your powers of aspects, and you try to try to look in. But your the past, uh, you know, use of eyes of chaos and the visions as you sort of try and focus your eyes and the power there seem to almost scramble about, and you have to shake your head before both the aura and the vision sort of collide and really scramble up your head. So you have to just shake off and just, you know, relax like five ten seconds without that. Hmm. Blana, can you uh, check the goals for magic? Mortals are, after all, susceptible. It... Make sure that nothing's been worked on them while we've been busy investigating. Triblana is quiet. They have gotten her too. Indeed. Malice the allies grow short. I will slay those uh, possessed before they come for me. Have its battle axe. Uh, Lambert, do you have uh, aspects too for any chance to uh, replace? I have zero fight. aspects. So per perfect. Okay, I could uh, share some Okavian blood with you so you can start learning it. <laughs> ah, bless you, Lambert. Um, you know. Seeing as how my character's a little somber, he might actually take that offer, which is hilarious. Yeah, um, I don't think Domno would actually offer because he's he doesn't like the crazy in the blood. He would actually I know, yeah, be I know worried it was about a joke, uh, but still inflicting. Um, I don't. I wouldn't usually do this, but this could affect the story and how you approach things. So, um. Redimir, you here? No, right? Um, I'm going to roll for him in that case because you can roll for Severin. True, that is fair. If you're gonna ask Severin, because uh, Severin does have aspects. Okay. Wow, what a what a mad lad. <laughs> Shitty build. <laughs> That's a fuck. I can't do it when I craft here, god damn it. But uh sure, fuck it, I'll do it. So you sort of you know whisper to the group, uh Treblan things, and uh Treblana seems to also daze off for a bit and takes a bit to recollecting. You're not sure what's happening, Don. No, Donald is but... sure. The uh 
Sigil points to powerful magics being at play here, and clearly this place is warded to all fucks, we're all in danger. But Severin, um, <laughs> after men men mentioning, he sort of pops up back, just sort of like life came back into his eyes for a bit, and sort of just nods and looks over to the guards at the south and just they use Osmic Sight. And he looks clearly in them and nods. Comes back, whispers to you. And I'm not going to roleplay this in his voice, but um, he informs you that they are um, <sighs> weird. They have definitely show the signs of ghouls. That's for one. But they seem to have um, colors of uh, purple, red, and brown sort of mixed in. Very negative colors in them. Signs that... Uh, that they are angry, uh, aggressive, bitter almost. That they're, it's almost like, it's almost like they're just standing there menacingly, but you know, they're expressing their true feelings throughout their souls. But they, they stand there, they don't look back at you. They keep focusing on the job in front of you, but that's what Severin tells you. So I'm gonna assume the guards have uh, torches with them. Uh, one of them does. Yeah. Uh, like how they're going is like one's holding and one out with the other one having uh, being more armed. Uh, Dom was going to step slightly out of the easy circle of firelight of whatever torch we have. Just into the shadow where he can see well enough if he, you know, focusing on what he's doing. But where from a distance he's hard to see. Like partially to an alcohol yeah. or something. And he's just going to mm -hmm. take out his longbow and uh, string it. <laughs> Did I uh, overhear all this? Um, I presume so, yeah, because they're all kind of grouped there in as a group, and he notified. Jablana still seems a bit out, but uh, you go into the small alcove. The you know others sort of look at you for a bit and uh, stay there. You string your bow, just and you look down. It. <laughs> Welcome back, Jablana. So you notice uh, as you sort of go into the thing and bend, Chablana sort of like just flicks back up and comes back to life. You didn't say be right back, you bitch. I did. Where? He did. It's further up. He said, fuck, gotta yeet to the toilet real oh. quick. Ah, see, a uh, different picture, so I didn't re recognize it. So uh, Chablana, I need you to make me an Auspex 2 check, so Perception plus Empathy at difficulty 8. Uh, Domino did it, failed. Craft did it and uh, botched. Botched, and since you weren't here, I gave Severin's information first. He apparently thinks the people who just walked through the sewer are what? upset. Yeah, the guards over there are showing colors of very bad. Okay, so four successes. Triblana, as you see, sort of Dom will come back and remember that he said, "Hey, do you mind like seeing into their aura?" You quickly go in to look, and it doesn't take you long. So the information you get from them is uh, that they are definitely ghouls. They have pale blotches in the R. But uh, they're light blue. They're calm. But uh, they're calm. You know, Red Welcome are... Perks, uh, sucking out a popsicle on stream without turning off your camera was not the wisest decision. <laughs> if we were popular, that would definitely <laughs> become a gif. <laughs> Oh no! Uh, He's just there calm? with a look of concentration going. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, cursed. Uh, but okay. they have light blue to indicate calmness. But you do see some dark blue in there to sort of uh, put in suspicious. They seem to be uh, a bit wary, a bit looking. Uh, and there are some small, small blotches of uh, other things, like a little bit of orange to just, you know, to be like afraid. Uh, but they also do have a bit of um, uh, just like normal blue that like, sort of love struck. But, uh, you know, considering that they're ghouls and considering uh, that they might have been, you know, dominated or forced to follow a command of some sorts, this feels entirely normal. Uh, and the orange blotch from your knowledge and the like, uh, you would presumably that's sort of the inner soul that has you know that is underlying the uh the the, the 
the blood bond and the commands, presumably. That is sort of like being like, why am I down here in a stinky sewer with a bunch of places and spooky stuff happening? But in general, they do seem to be proper ghouls. Uh, one sec. <laughs> this is going to be one of those cursed fucking evenings, isn't it? So... Do you also see this random purple, brown, and black, or whatever? So, uh, you summon the arms of the abyss, right? And I'm just gonna shoot the uh, one on the right. Oh, what do you think, rat lady? <laughs> What the fuck? Don't know, just know. turns his head like What the fuck? I think I think that's I think that's a single tick of frenzy. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, it's just there you know, I look perplexed at him. Excuse me. I'm sorry, I I think someone should, We're only uh... just getting to know each other. I, uh, I, exactly. I have forgotten your name. And <sighs> Rat Lady is your go-to? I couldn't think of anything else. That is extremely rude. I'm sorry. Her name is Trublana. Try and remember it. Perhaps... Trebalana, do you see this combination of colors, or...? Well, uh, it seems that they, that, they, that they are calm, but uh, I'm not 100% sure, of course, but it's, I think they might be uh, under some sort of uh, command. Beyond the blood bond? Yes. It's it's very very faint underneath, and I was almost not able to pick it out, but there seems to be something chained down. Ah, so they are under the effects of dominate. You, Sounds your like clan has an affinity for this power. Yes, perhaps you would be the best to go up to them and speak to them. And should anything go wrong, uh, I will uh, put an arrow through the first one to go for you. All right. Just don't know. Stake same. <laughs> Understand. Uh, are we in that line of sight? Of them? Um, I was uh, thinking that you guys are kind of standing around. Hold up, I have too many sheets open. Uh, about this area. So you guys are in line of sight. That you know, Domino took a uh, basically a corner that uh, he can see and you know be far away enough that he can uh, you know see from. But you guys are in generally line of sight. Hmm, I see. Uh, let's not try to alert them too much by going into obvious gate, I guess. But um, I think I will. I mean, they won't notice if you do. Yeah, they're, they're, the thing. You guys can, with the help of Auspex and the like, see. Um, they are currently, you know, their backs are turned to you. They're being focused at the very, you know, where you oh. guys came from. Oh, okay. Sorry. I'm so, I mean, yeah, you're technically in line of sight because if they turned around, they'd see you. But uh, they have their backs uh, towards you guys right now. Yeah, we're just you know office gate and that back uh, doff us up. Okay. Like what? Following right nearby or? Yeah, like following nearby. Okay. Uh, so so that we're avoiding uh, getting in between like uh, the, the the shots. I can't of the see market. you. It's a death die. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, well, what if I go like the... No, we, we already talked like, about yeah. it with Obfuscate. Uh, if yeah. you're able to, if you go and choose who to present with, uh, you can choose to be seen by others, but not by some. Yeah, but I'm going to like, standing on like the side, you know, that it wouldn't, wouldn't, they would have to, you know, uh, go, go essentially out of their way to get in between uh, m yeah, uh, got me it. and... Uh... Got it, got it, got it. So, Lambert, uh, Severin's, by the way, uh, going to sort of take the... Uh, 
slowly walk and just go on the uh, other sort of side of the wall where you, you know, I'm opposite of you. Gonna tell him that uh, maybe uh, it would be good if someone was watching so I don't get tickled from behind while I'm aiming down the hallway. And uh, <laughs> what, what, what if we give you the rats as backup? <laughs> Rat. Shut the fuck up, rat lady. <laughs> uh, but Lambert, you uh, go down, and uh, as you sort of you know approach closer and closer, and uh, you know there is some there is some noise to your uh, footsteps. Though there was noise to everybody's footsteps, unless you slow down. Uh, and as you get closer and closer, uh, the guards sort of you know seeing that there's a pretty close sound coming by, they sort of turn and recognize you. And one of the guards goes, "My lady." Uh, my bad. Not to That's a uh, frenzy tick. Uh, my lord. Um, how can we help you? My children, I must ask, have you experienced any uh, dominating presences as of late, other than your master? They sort of look to each other, look back. No, we're doing only what is told by our master. I mean, it's just that uh, blonde lady, you know, the fifth member of your group. <laughs> <laughs> we've, we've been informed of our situation. We are gladly protecting our masters and doing our duties. What, um... What did your master ask you to do when he sent you down here with us, explicitly? To listen to your commands and follow lead, and uh, follow orders. Apparently, uh, some of the others are concerned about uh, something strange in your aura. It would seem... Uh, you seem calm, I think they said? So but unnaturally other, so? They sort of look at each other a bit confused. I suppose, my lord. This, we are simply doing our duty. Demi, I know that feeling when the players go off the rails and you're like, how do I stop this from becoming a bloodbath? <laughs> I, it doesn't really matter to me. <laughs> hmm. The other guy, so to speak, uh, my lord, if I may, we're also not very keen on these auras, colors. We're not really understanding what you mean. Well, it would seem you are not at all upset, at least consciously, according to uh, the others, of uh, being down here as it were, having had to track through a, a sewer. They sort of shrug, and we were told to follow orders, and we followed you down here. Mm. We're simply doing I our see. job. Uh, on that note, we've also, uh, there have been no movement or noises coming from the uh, entrance, if that is also something that interests you. Is our friend still out in the hallway? Um, he... Uh, if I, I remember right, after he led you guys there, he fucked off. You guys didn't, like, order him to stay there or anything? No, we asked him to stay there. Hmm. Got it then. Uh, they sort of, uh, look once more. Not from this angle, my lord. I see. What do you oh, want to fine. try the uh, thing uh, with the uh, neonate snorting ashes to see if he actually gets powers? <laughs> I mean, we could. We could go and find him. This is still pretty early in the night. We could take a half an hour for a quick uh, experiment. Let's go. Let's, let's go. Well, uh... Please follow me. We uh, should head deeper in. 
Yes, my lord. And uh, Del, you know, the one with the torch, uh, sort of knowing what he has to do, uh, sort of gives you a bit of uh, leeway, essentially, to move toward her so he doesn't get too close with the torch, And uh, but ends up following suit from a uh, reasonable distance. As they get closer, Domino will stand out into the open, visibly take the tension off the bowstring, and start unstringing it again. Understandable. Just stay invisible. Okay. So, the two ghouls follow you. No. They don't really come. I'll whisper to uh, Domino. Hmm. I think they're just... Uh... Under the effects of high level dominate. Don't worry about it. Shut the fuck up. Two members of our party just had trouble with their powers. How are you slicing? No, no, I, I didn't mean, see their shit. Their master has been brainwashing them. That's all it is. This place is fucking dangerous. It's fucking with our abilities. Either Severin was right or Treblana, and I couldn't see anything at all. Which is bad fucking news. I think Treblano was right. Yeah, probably. But either way, do you rely on your magic to fight? I don't, but I don't know about the others. So, where does that fucking leave us? The mortal muscle, which is easy to fuck over, and me, if we run into something deadly. How much do you know of the power of Dominate? Little. Not that much. Their souls have been weakened. Part of it has been stripped away by their master's influence. Oh, that's, that's, that, that, that's great. That's great. So they'll be more susceptible to further uses of things affecting them here, right? Only from their master. Sure, sure. So let's hope it's not their master. Just keep a fucking eye out. And if you get the chance, test your ability, see if they still work or if it's just Osbrex that's affected. I'll uh I'll twist the shadows into a a pretty bird. Does it work, Demi? Uh well, you have to spend a blood point, by the way, to use level one of tenebration. Um, I know. But uh you can see that, you know, at the edges where you know, the shadows and actually where the lights are, where you can see, um, do actually are able to form a uh, butterfly. It's uh, crude, obviously, but it, it looks like a butterfly, though it could also just look like another animal, but you get the, you get the gist of it. So it works. It's the shadows to back to this place. Okay, so... Hmm. Gonna stop at the away further in and uh, ask others, how do you want to proceed? Well, uh, there is only one path. I mean, the only choice is whether or not we leave in. now or go deeper in, isn't it? Do we leave the ghouls here? Do we send some of them? Do I lead the way and take a position once it opens up? How do you wish to proceed tactically? I think it would be best to, to have to serve their duty that is uh, as being the first and the first to see what's going on. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. Have them all take up positions here and guys, you You've seen others under the effects of mind-affecting powers, right? Mm-hmm. And asking the ghouls in particular. Uh, some of them sort of shrug, one of them goes, yes. Okay, tell the others what to look for and keep an eye on each other, just in case. I don't trust this place. He nods and uh, starts beginning an explanation. Um... You know, for you, Treblon, who can obviously overhear this, it's a, it's a very rudimentary uh, observation, but uh, one that is passable. You know, the and you, for example, in terms of dominate and to a degree, dementation. Um, 
they all have their own effects and some people might look a bit or feel different, but the, the ghoul is able to give, you know, obviously if it looks wrong or feels wrong, like trust your gut feeling on this a lot. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, effectively their orders are to hold this entrance, watch for people going either direction. And in case we come running, Get ready for a fight, because we'll try to retreat to this point if we are accosted by something uh, fucky. Okay, so just note. Uh, so presumably you guys are going to keep on going north, that's the only way. So are all four ghouls being placed at this door, or two here and two on the presumably other The ghouls are staying together where they can neatly watch okay. each other and they'll be harder to affect all at once. Yeah. Sweep and clear, boys, sweep and clear. Yep, so I've just marked uh, that they're basically there at that entrance. Okay, so, do you guys progress forward? Yep. Okay. This hall definitely seems a bit different than the one that you just came from. See, that one was an archway that sort of instantly went into this place. This one is a bit more narrower and the like, uh, and it doesn't go instantaneously into something big. It's a decently sized the hallway but this one has um very old at some point mossy dirty doesn't even visibly but there seem to have been murals of sorts here sort of uh depictions and um remembering uh, a bit and knowing from you guys in the roles uh for those who are no noted in this so Triblana and um lambert uh you guys can faintly recognize some of the murals to be of um certain having certain religious aspects, uh, mostly symbolizing um, some of the mythology from ye old ancient Greece. Uh, and some of them mentioning also, you know, of Roman stuff as well. So there's a point where you notice, for example, uh, two, uh, two babies and two uh, and a wolf, essentially, remembering uh, the founding of Rome to a, to a part. Uh, though you do see also, for example, a figure holding a uh, lightning in his hand as well, sort of referring to Zeus. A lot of it is broken and not really visible to a part, but the one things you can see sort of indicate on that. Uh, and as a further... Uh, no, no writing. Just seemingly some form of drawings. Uh, though that's sort of the start. As you sort of continue going on further, or sort of at the middle point of this place, starts to be almost a little small bit of a fusion, sort of a little bit of a aspect. Uh, where it starts going from, you know, the whole Latin and sort of Greek mythology, starting to go back to a bit more of a Celtic. And you see a bit uh, a difference in the drawings as well, uh, or at least the ones you can pick out from, mostly being in that it's a bit more greenish than the uh, sort of Greek mythology one, but there seems to be much more uh, curvature in the drawings as well, a uh, lot less human in a sense as well, and much more pure nature, a lot more plantary and the like. Uh, for you, Donald, you can recognize these ones uh, much better. Um, this seems to be uh, sort of on the Celtic side. And the middle was essentially where the two sort of interlap. And there was a little, but that one you couldn't pick up too much. But there just seems to be, you know, a Greek person there, a Celtic person there, or Celtic figure there, essentially, to a degree. So it seems to be a hallway dedicated to that mm -hmm. in terms of murals. Uh, how, how crude are these murals? Or are they extremely exquisite? Um, you're not fully sure, uh, mostly in the sense that they seem to be very, very old. Uh, and some of them, you know, the drawings sort of come off and it's just like blank brick essentially there. Um, there are points where there's moss growing over, some places where are damp, some places where the brick sort of fell off and there's just an opening. So what you're able to pick up are the ones, the drawings and the mural parts where you can actually visibly see something. And the ones where they're there, it's still hard to tell because age does its work, but you would presume that with the importance of this and kindred and things that they were at one point decently exquisite or at least well drawn. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, two things as we're continuing walking that I uh, would like to uh, do. One is uh, just take a glove off and run my fingers along some of the uh, less damaged uh, drawings, the ones that I won't uh, fuck up just by touching them and use spirit's touch to get a feeling of what the uh, attitude or emotional charge when placing these was. Okay. Um, 
Roll it to me at a difficulty of, um, this would be sufficiently old and it's been dying. Uh, but I'm still going to say, uh, roll me at a difficulty eight. Damn, nice. So with three success, you glance, you know, you sort of go over and you start getting some feelings, uh, you know, sort of consciously. Uh, the one thing that gets you is that there are a lot of drawers, um, that there some, doesn't seem to be, you know, a single set person, that there seem to have been at least a multitude. Uh, but your, the emotions that you can mostly feel, it's like sort of vary from piece to piece. But uh, the one thing that you're able to feel, and this is kind of also being near the priest, because there's a little bit of a deja vu as to it, is uh, definitely a sense of piety, definitely a sense of uh, higher purpose. Like they're drawing and that there's, you know, they're not just drawing for themselves or to present themselves. They're drawing with definitely some form of passion, ambition, some greater understanding, if you want to say so. So whoever drew this, these seem to have been some individuals who presumably had a lot of fate, essentially, in them. Uh, and for the other emotions, obviously, there is no happiness. Uh, you go on to some of the things where sort of depicts death and the like, and there's a little bit of a icky feeling yeah, you know no, it sort of no, goes no, on as this i've seen enough I, once he gets the uh, faith bit and starts going to the other bits he's gonna stop he's gonna pause for a second then tell the others uh, uh this is a uh, holy place we're entering these people who made it they had a power similar to yours priest or an attitude similar to yours from what i can tell uh um. it is best to be respectful even if you uh think that uh, their fate is inferior. Well, I'm not surprised that they had such fervor on their faith. After all, they did create this place to honor the dead. And uh, as we continue going, uh, Dongle is gonna essentially be uh, muttering prayers in Irish, uh, things that uh, Effectively, the stuff you would do to not uh, invoke the wrath of the Shades of the Dead when going into, you know, a Celtic graveyard. Understandable. You know, effectively, yeah. we know the rules, we're respectful, don't fuck us over. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, and as you sort of... You continue on that. Um, I uh, does anybody else have any questions about this or we continuing? Okay, continue. Okay. So about maybe, I don't know how long this would be approximately. 20, 30 meters. I think that is just a decently long hallway, yeah? You eventually exit and it's, you know, it doesn't, it goes into a very large room. And just for posterity's sakes, let me just freehand fucking draw a red box. So going into this, you, similar to the previous room, you enter a very large room, you know, from a very small entrance sort of deal. And this one, he catches you a bit off guard. Because, you know, on a, where a point, you know, you're expecting a bit more, you know, sarcophagi or stuff like that. You enter something that resembles slightly of a, um, slightly of a bathhouse, actually. Uh, but you quickly realize that's only mostly for the aesthetic purposes. To describe the room... Um, it's very large, and at the top, it seems to be slightly domish. Um, yes, the improv drama. <laughs> exactly, Redimir. And on the left and right side, there seems to be uh, sort of pools, uh, a little bit of, you know, curvature, sort of roundish, uh, maybe a little bit of cloudy-like looking, but uh, they're filled with water, and the water doesn't seem to be running. It, it seems greenish and a bit stagnant at this point. And above that, on the very, very sides, there seems to be more sarcophagus, uh, but they're not sort of outlined as, you know, the one in the previous room where it's sort of like in the open and has a little bit of dome. These ones sort of try and think like a morgue, right? You have a hole, you have a, like a place, and you sort mm -hmm. of slide it in, right? That's the sort of deal you're working here with, except this one seems to have a bit more levels. It seems to be going like one, like three levels. So there's like three layers, and there's a little bit of opening between them. So it seems definitely a bit more stacked. Hmm. So the, the very... sarcophagi have actually just been slid into like an uh, indent in the wall. Each. Essentially. Okay. Essentially. Um, 
but that's not even what catches your attention first, actually. The biggest thing that catches your attention is actually a very large statue at the very end back of the room. Um, that sort of um, has, that, that is, it's a feminine, uh, feminine feature. Ah, yes. Uh, this is the resting place of Helen. <laughs> it's, a, it's a feminine feature, and, uh, well, yeah, let's first start. Feminine, it seems to me, be made out of uh, very nice marble, though, obviously, age and the like, there's a little bit of uh, dirt and uh, dust that have accumulated on it to a point where it looks dirty. Um, and you can see there that she sort of has... Um, Extending your hands, like almost like giving alms, like, uh, I'm going to mute myself for a second. So sort of giving out like that, uh, sort of very nice features, a bit of a longish hair. Um, and you know, usually these kind of statues, uh, nowadays are supposed to resemble stuff like, um, Christianity and the stuff, uh, but no wings, no halo, no stuff like that. And the one thing that does keep keep your attention a little bit is that even though the the body language speaks of um, you know giving charity uh, you know whatnot, there is a sad face that is presented on the statue, not wailing but just a frown. Mm -hmm. um, for the two of you, uh, for those actually rather who can. Uh, and I suppose I'll roll for Severin as well. Um, intelligence academics or intelligence theology? I'd say this would be at an at an eight. Mostly because these kind of statues aren't uh, commonplace. Well, they are. Would book knowledge apply? Uh, I'd say book knowledge would apply here. Well, they're having a tonk. Uh... Domino is gonna take out a couple of silver uh, coins and put them in the hands. Uh, Two do you know, uh, will note, uh, haven't finished uh, describing fully yet the entire room even. Uh, this is just sort of if I can, if you guys can recognize the, yeah. the figure or so I can keep on going. Uh, so, ba ba ba. okay, uh, book knowledge on my end too. Okay, so three successes, two successes and one successes. Um, I'm going to go with the uh, highest. Presumably, you're going to talk amongst each other, so better to just give it uh, a three then. And just note. So, Triblana, you know, through your uh, research and uh, knowledge and a little bit of, you know, talkings from your uh, grandsire as well, uh, it sparked a little bit of um, interest or sort of sparked a memory back in your mind where your grandsire, hailing back from uh, old Byzantium, described... Uh, these very old statues at one point that uh, are being destroyed and not being used anymore. And these statues were usually used to describe gods and demigods to a degree. And sort of taking in the uh, features of giving and being so sad and a feminine and a still pretty feature, um, this sparks a, what you remember to describe or at least have the uh, symbology of and I'm going to use the Greek term for this, um, Hera, essentially, the goddess Hera. Where on one point, she is very caring and giving, but at the same time, always, you know from your history that she was always basically having issues, both with Zeus and the others, and not a fun time. And in a sense, she's usually being, and you remember as well that, She's usually looked upon as a sort of uh, one of a greater feminine and uh, motherly feature as well, uh, being one of the sort of most prestigious uh, female goddesses. Uh, but at the same point, she's also, uh, in a way, demonstrates the struggles of, uh, of the of woman, essentially. All the cheating husbands. <laughs> um. So this is like the main knowledge. This is like, you know, you'd know that essentially this is a statue that's representing Hera. Uh, for the rest of you, you'd know, for you, uh, Lambert, you're just, know, would know, you'd know that this is Hera, but you wouldn't know, you know, the exact details and symbology. Um, so just take that, but, and Severin knows even less. So 
to continue on, uh, though I will note the alms, it's a pretty, it's a decently large, like, Thai statue. You can't really just put something in her arms. Um, rather, what there is, there seems to be a, um, almost like a, a, you can't just, like, put it in there. Rather, there's a, a small little sort of marble stair that sort of almost looks like a, feels like a reverse amphitheater, pyramid sort of structure, that sort of walks up the stairs until you sort of go and give. Mm -hmm. besides that uh the sort of room as the pools sort of go there's a you know there's a walkway and then there's like almost an island figure and then a walkway back to back and in the middle of that there is a very large sarcophagus this one seems to be uh a bit more aligned and you can even see that there is some remnants of uh not really jewelry but rather more fine metal so rather than you know just having like brick and marble or the like it does actually seem to have some uh engravings and linings of possibly silver or, or and some gold as well definitely a bit more luxurious and uh that's the room mm -hmm. some question if the water is green uh is there like any way for like light to come into this room like uh, you know on the outside for example i'm i'm <sighs> fuck you uh no, it's. I'm mostly representing it as it's fucking dirty. It's stagnant, it's murky. It's. Uh... Yeah, let's I, murky. I, I just, I just, I just wanted to know, like, what you're dealing with. Yeah, no, no sunlight. No, it doesn't seem to be like that. It seems to be entirely enclosed. You're deep down and up. It just seems to be probably dirty. just coating of like uh, a slime mold or something. Mm -hmm. Not actual algae. So, in uh, this room, effectively, uh, Domino is gonna be making sure that these degenerate fucking savages of the uh, new religion don't uh, defile this ancient and holy place. And uh, he figures that they'll get around to studying the sarcophagus, so he's mostly keeping an eye on them and on the entrance deeper. Okay. Uh, though, uh, Discord broke for a little bit. Uh, I know that, that you said they're going to leave them to the sarcophagus. Uh, what did you say that you wanted to do? Uh, they didn't uh, say anything yet, but uh, I want to keep an eye on them and on the entrance deeper, and I'll take out my bow again. I'm just okay. keeping a wide uh, view of the room. Uh, quick temporis, by the way. Uh, the entrance never existed. Think I left before our eyes. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. Don't worry, guys. It's just high-level uh, obfuscate. <laughs> What what entrance, Domino, huh? <laughs> My eyes of chaos saw the uh, timeline before it was changed, Demi. <laughs> Good to know. I assume See, that uh, there aren't any signs of, you know, fey energies uh, swirling around the place or other fuckery. Um, make me a perception awareness. Okay. Just keep in mind, um, if a fake would normally see it, I should be uh, able to do to the thing. I know, I know, but uh, it wouldn't be fey, but you're specifically asking about this, so I want you to uh, focus on this and uh, give me a perception awareness. Uh, roll me at a six. Mm -hmm. So this is something that I'm picking up due to heightened senses running, I'm assuming. Essentially. You look around, you know, trying to see if you notice any fey energy, and uh, you don't. But there is something that catches you up. Not off guard, but uh, catches you, catches your attention. And it doesn't seem to be malicious. Rather, it's a very weak magic feeling. You're not exactly sure what to describe it as, but you know that it's essentially magical energy to a degree. And it's coming from the sarcophagus. It's, it's small. It's, it's uh, not very noticeable unless you focus in and really feel it, essentially. But it seems to be oozing out of there. Okay. Ah, fuck. I'm just gonna, you know, in that uh, intense whisper, guys, don't open the sarcophagus. I'm picking up something magical in there. All right. There might be a sigil that's still active in there. I'd like to... Uh look over the surface of the sarcophagus closely see if there's any carvings or inscriptions 
All right. You get closer to the sarcophagus, and there's a little bit of a, a small little stairway, like a, like one, two steps to get up, right? And looking around, there's a little bit of an, sort of uh, the linings, the engravings, are sort of just like flowy and curvy at the sides. Um, but really what catches your attention is on the front. What you see first is a small little drawing, almost like a mural representing sort of the last the ones before, um, that depicts essentially a uh, figure uh, holding a sword high up in the air. And you can notice that it seems to be, of knowing your knowledge now, uh, a Celtic origin. Uh, one second. Uh, of Celtic origin, mostly because you see a uh, female uh, figure having a little bit of um, almost not really topless, but rather just sort of something holding here, mostly naked, but besides, you know, sort of like these leather pants and stuff. And they have some uh, blue sort of tattoos almost going through and a very uh, sort of braided hair going down. And looking at the, uh, and there's a sort of a name put upon there. And uh, it simply refers to the great and indomitable Boudicca. I'll look back at uh, at Domino slowly. Domino, this would be a name you're very familiar oh, with. Oh yes, but I'm by the wall, watching over the room with longbow. Uh, I'll uh... wave him over. Like, no, I told him I'm picking up magic from it, and uh, then I would have stayed there when he uh, went closer. Mm -hmm. Got it. And I've just looked around it very carefully, and now I'm weaving you over to come look at this. Okay, don't know he's gonna approach. You approach, and uh, you see essentially the same thing, and you recognize the name Boudicca. That being the, uh, well, for those who don't know and watching the stream, basically a very ancient and uh, Celtic, essentially, uh, female who led the Inseni people, I think, to against the Romans. Yeah, I thought it and was actually quite successful. Yeah. Although, uh, you know, we know how it ends. <clears throat> uh, I thought uh, Burika was active in, uh, across the channel. Yeah, she was. Donald just uh, reads it. Reads it again. I think we're in the tomb of a Mafuzla. She's probably in there. That's probably what you noticed. Fucking hope not. <laughs> that or it's <laughs> those seals you mentioned. It might be. After all, men of great faith can do miraculous things the way I was, and this uh, is the kind of thing they'd want to protect the way i was picking up since i was looking for fey magic i'm gonna take a leap and was it living magic type vibes that i was picking up or i'm gonna say you picked up two one of them was the very opposite of living but the other one was not. So you, pe you picked up two magical senses, but now that you're thinking back and looking upon them and looking for the specifics, and now that you're closer, by the way, uh, you are able to pick up two. One that is anti-living, in a sense, and one that is um, just magical, in essence. Uh, okay. And at this point, Trebon, I would say, uh, because I presume you'd be focusing in as well to a point, uh, you can feel this as well, uh, especially with the ospreys and things, and uh, you're able to feel up to both of them as well. But um, the second one, the unliving one, is uh, familiar to you. Mostly because it has small remnants and feelings of necromancy to it. Just uh, look at Treblana. We both know what is done here. <laughs> we don't even need to say anything. I don't think we want to open the box. Mm -hmm. No, I want to open the box. 
So how about we don't violate the extremely ancient tomb that apparently the uh, great war leader had her uh, court mages enchant with uh, terrible protection magics and we look around the rest of the place. I know I'm most certainly not opening this. By the way, uh, like, uh, how's this like a sarcophagus even secured? Is, is there just, you know, like, uh, I don't know, a slab of stone on it or, or how does it look? I'm not 100% familiar with, um, you know, sarcophagi burial rituals, uh, but I'll say for the purpose that uh, this one seems to be a bit more secure than the others, seemingly having a uh, sort of a small locking mechanism. Uh, you know those little plastic boxes which you can just sort of like click on and click off? Sort of like that. Hmm. Okay, so 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 if like someone were try to like leave, presumably it would also uh, have to go through the lock first. It probably uh, means it's not intended to, to be left unless there's like something in, something on the inside which would be really uncomfortable. <clears throat> Okay. I mean, if it's a Methuselah's tomb, there's going to be a way to open it from the inside. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, you probably can't tell that from just the fact that it has a lock on the outside as well. Oh, anyways. Uh, Dumnold is going to actually say in the... Uh... Well... Celtic probably has uh, changed a, uh, in a few hundred years, but he's going to very slowly and deliberately say, we are not your enemies. If you can hear us, we are not here to harm you in any way. Okay. You do so. And there, you know, you don't, you expect something, and it doesn't I, I'm mostly hoping that there's no response at all. <laughs> yeah, no response. <laughs> well, then let's just... Uh... Let's inspect the rest of this place, and then let's get the fuck out of here. Dumno okay. is going to put a single coin precariously balanced on the corner of the sarcophagus so that if anyone moves the lid there's at least a clinking noise to warn us got it you're getting skyrim feels aren't you gonna go read something and all of a sudden a drogger happens behind you <laughs> listen there's magic on that shit i see a light bar fair fair you place a token there like a coin there mm -hmm. So, what would you guys like to do? Then you mentioned like some sort of like treasure around that we could have a look at. Oh yes, the sarcophagus that he said is inlaid with silver. Yeah, it's it's sort of built into the stone. Like... Will, will you volunteer to start chiseling it? I can lend you a battle axe while I start running. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 thank you. I'm good. Uh, but besides that, uh, if you, you know what, give me a, um, since you're looking for treasure, give me a perception investigation if you want. Because uh, right here at the, uh, this main sarcophagus, nothing. Don't know is going to continue keeping an eye on the others, and I would like to contest any attempt to take any such treasure. <laughs> okay. Um, the I'd question just like to... Uh... To search the room and try and see if there's any other inscriptions of note. Mm -hmm. um, my question would then be, uh, before I get to the stuff, uh, Triblana, if you were to find anything, something, would you be stealthy about it? Well, I'm not really interested in like, taking it. I'm more invest interested in like, you know, having like a look at it, at, you know, to see if it's um If it's worth risking our own lives for, is what you're saying. Oh. <laughs> Well, uh, it's more like um, you know, if it's like something you know that that uh, would uh, would you know broaden my horizon. Okay. Uh, you know, pursuit of knowledge, not gotcha. like, you know actual wealth. Uh, you look around the places. Um, one getting into the sarcophagi is 
difficult because it was basically pushed in there. You'd have to fucking just basically take the entire sarcophagus out before you properly want to open it and get it. So yeah. going into there is not really feasible. But to, yeah. to um, uh, go for it. Uh, yeah, not really interested in the sarcophagus. Just we're just doing to make a it. surface yeah. examination. We are not waking the undead, Demi. Stop trying to trap us. Uh, I'm just saying this place isn't. This place is based kind of basically open. There's nothing like you know just standing or like a desk anywhere. So you have to kind of go at somewhat point because that's the only place you can look nearest to there. And uh, you look around. There doesn't seem to be anything on any of the levels. Some of the places have like on the sides because they're small, little, and then sort of more wide rather than high. You can see there's some, you know, stuff from ye old. Uh, you're able, you're able to, for example, find a bottle that seemed to have at one point, presumably been filled with some form of alcohol. But uh, yeah, you look at the bottle and you look at the inside. Better not fucking touch that. Um, you're you, you don't you find a lot of dust. You find a lot of you know. Things that are rotten, like made out of wood as well, almost like, uh, like for example, a. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm trying to think something, uh, even like maybe something like a small little figurine of such that seems to be uh, very rotting and uh, basically not really good looking either. But that seems to be mostly uh, things that might have been left at near the uh, sarcophagus on sentimental value. And you're looking around, and you know, with the eye of you know aspects, you there's one place that you um, didn't check which is the water itself. And as you sort of just like peer through, you see a little bit of, uh, you know, I presumably you guys are gonna have some lights so or a torch somewhere. With the uh, slight gleam of a firelight, you're actually able to see something almost reflect a little bit from below. And as you sort of just peered below, um, you're able to notice that there seems to be, though, a, you know, and a little bit of a better observation, a uh, coin down the uh, pool, essentially. Hmm. Uh, how how fucking deep is that? What did um, you say was in the pool? Coin. It's it's hard to see exactly how many because it's fucking dirty water. We're able to feel you know pick out some that seem to be a little bit more in the open. Uh, if you go to check it out, uh, the water isn't deep. Uh, it's may it's maybe. I want to say a bit like uh this this length. So you know from the hand to the elbow. Mm -hmm. If Triblana gets awfully interested in the water, Dumno will uh, question that, ask her uh, what she's found. Mm -hmm. I've got to, like, you know, like, have the like, lean over. Okay. okay. R r rats know how to swim, right? Wait, excuse me, what? Rats know how to swim, right? They do. Uh, I would say even sewer rats specifically. Yes, uh, I will. Uh, I will whisper to it. Uh, uh, go, go and like fetch me one of those uh, shiny things. Yes, master. Be careful. So, <laughs> yeah, you 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 notice this, Dom? If you're keeping an eye, and all you can see is a uh, uh, a rat sort of goes up to the edge of the water, stands up on all four, stretches. Treblana, what are you doing? <laughs> there seems to be some sort of uh, metal at the at, at the floor at the, at the ground of this uh, this pool. Those are probably offerings. What did I tell you about disrespecting this place? There's a magic-filled coffin right there. It's, it's not not linked to this this uh, this thing. Just throw it back after you have your look. Don't yeah, actually steal from this place. Yeah, yeah, I just want to know like uh, what's in there. Might be another clue. The uh, rat comes out, sort of comes out of the water, sort of coughs a bit. You hear, oh, that's dirty water. And uh, you just see him uh, sort of stand up again and sort of gives you one of the things below and uh, you take it. It is a very rusty, very dirty uh, coin. Well, actually, gold doesn't trust. Yeah, I, I was I was I just remembered that gold doesn't rust, does it? It's it's a very dirty um what about silver though? Just want to know about that about that. It gets like a weird tint, I believe. Yeah, I 
I think it tarnishes, so it takes on sort of blackish gray, but uh, uh, yeah. it it doesn't get completely fucked either. It, I think it, I think it like the oxide forms a protective layer or something. Good to know. Um, thank you. Uh, but yeah, you will be getting a uh, golden coin, a decent size, uh, all things considered. And, uh, you know, you sort of uh, rub a little bit of the grime and the whatnot was on it. And uh, you can see that there's a rest in peace, Adolphus, always in our heart. Uh, and you can see that it is definitely uh, a Roman coin of such. Uh, and uh, it seems to be dedicated to... Uh, what fucking emperor would I say? Fuck it. Let's go with Hadrian. Okay. But, uh, decently good condition. Besides, you know, the grime and wetness, but... Worth the resource so... dot if Salto Collector. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, so we got, like, a... Uh, yeah. Just seems to be, uh... Actually, do, do, do I know which emperor it is? Uh, as I said, Hadrian. I just randomly picked one. Oh, okay. I would, I would, I would just remember like, Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> Actually, that, that, that would make me more, more likely to take it. I have a dun, long dun, bow. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, yeah. I'm going to just kind of show. Yeah. It's just, a, it's just a Roman coin. I think Hadrian. I like show it to Domino. It looks like you don't recognize. Uh, I wouldn't say you'd. Do you have actually how many? How much academics do you have? None. I, I just know yeah. some fucking myths and I'm really good at riddles. Yeah, you don't recognize it, but uh, it's gold. And uh, you don't need to know myths to know gold is nice. <laughs> yeah, just, you know, put it back. Dumbledore knows just enough to know that whatever well, temptations might be here, they are far trumped by the. Uh, Importance of keeping a holy place like this intact. Hmm. Yeah, but interesting that they that they use uh, like Roman coins in a in a place that is not Roman. They're probably the uh, most valuable things they had. <laughs> probably loot. <laughs> well, we know that, or we can assume that this place was in at least some use uh, up to five hundred years ago when the trial happened based on sarcophagus. So uh, by that time, Roman coins would have been the thing to use. And if you if you go by if it's at the actual Boudicca, also old. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Nothing jumps out, seemingly. Nothing. Uh... You know, you still feel if you want to, you still feel the resonance of the magic, but uh, doesn't amplify, doesn't uh, diminish, stays the same. Uh, Adolphus isn't here, uh, but he wanted to know more about the uh, inscriptions and the like, but uh, I'll tell him anything uh, if he comes back. Let me just turn off the cameras because I don't have a setup for just three people. No. <laughs> well. No, right, anyway, get, get the fuck back here. Yeah, we still need to see each other. Do we, Just though? imagine if we had missed that uh, sight of you uh, sucking on that popsicle earlier. <laughs> I mean, it felt great. Cursed. I bet it did. Uh, cool. It looked like you were enjoying yourself. <laughs> so, um, in the meantime, I'll also say uh, Severin, uh, you know, follows lead, uh, doesn't investigate too much of his, own, uh, of his own, but he's keeping an eye out and the like. And uh, the priest is uh, sort of going around a bit more, uh, seeing if there's any uh, writing or the like. Okay. If Severin is uh, keeping an eye out, uh, Domino is going to take a moment to trace the perimeter of the room and uh, check if there are any places where the dust is disturbed that isn't accounted for by uh, these fuckers trampling all over the place. Make me a perception survival roll. And this would be fairly easy, so just roll that on four. Especially with the uh, aspects. Oh, wait, that's the wrong dice. Yeah. I uh, have uh, only three in survival. My bad. There we go. That's better. 
Um, yeah, not difficult at all. Um, it seems to, you look at the, you know, dozen things and you sort of trace back. Yeah, obviously the entrance. Uh, and it does seem to uh, follow the sort of aisle near the sarcophagus in the middle, uh, eventually going up the stairs to the uh, big statue where the hands are given out. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to go back up to the uh, statue. And... Uh... Hmm... So, does the dust just lead to the offering bowl or to that secret entrance you hit from us earlier? <laughs> it just it just leads. To, <laughs> there's just the statue there. Okay. Uh, don't know is uh, gonna take a uh, careful look at it. Um, he isn't, uh, he's trying to avoid touching it, but he's uh, effectively looking for, because he doesn't think the fuckers who came here were respectful, and if they're using this place, and we haven't found Sir Francis, and there are no obvious signs of one of those sarcophagi having been dragged out either, I assume, to place him in there, so the fucker had to go somewhere. Uh -huh. So yeah, I'm sure. gonna I'm gonna check the statue for anything fucky like a uh, arm that looks like it might rotate and actually be a switch. Anything really? Okay. Um, do you have crafts for any chance? I do. I have two dots for uh, presumably for all kinds of improvised traps in the forest. <laughs> yeah. Uh, give me a perception crafts then, since uh, the crafts will essentially help you. See if, uh, you know, things that are mechanical in chance or something that seems to be more official and the like like that. Uh, this would be at, uh, uh, let's say, uh, a bit of complication and stuff like that. Give me at a six. Okay. That's accounting for aspects of running, I'm assuming. Yeah. Uh, this is meant to be a bit hard to see. You look around, not touching stuff, but uh, you're able to see almost... Something that catches your eye, because it, it sort of as you turn around for a second and then looking around, it's almost as if you saw a door, or not rather a door, but rather a you know a a, a drawing of a door, a figure of a door, and so you go to back and checking and you're looking through, it seems to be almost very perfectly made, very very undistinguishable from the rest of the marble. It's sort of at the side, at sort of the base of the statue, where there's a little bit more sort of a marble foundation of a sense right mm -hmm. uh, there's some things that seem to be a very small line almost like almost indistinguishable to the normal eye but you're able to see it it's very small almost like maybe a less than a millimeter wide essentially so just going up to the up things making a door to mm -hmm. the form Domino is gonna just gently blow at the gap to see if uh, any dust uh, shakes loose you do so and uh I'd say a little bit comes out. It's not too definitely wide, but actually, no, um, no. If it does, that would mean that it wouldn't wasn't open. Yeah, it um, um, probably there might be still some, but uh, by the amount, you could guesstimate whether it's been opened recently. I'll say in that case, um, a very small amount, not as much. Uh, I'm not sure what you're expecting, but uh, I'll just mentioned then that uh, it does seem that in from that perception survival that somebody was perhaps recently through here damn it <laughs> I wonder that uh, entrance collapsed Tribuana, come and take a look at this I come have a closer look. Can I just uh, use the arrow that uh, I have been uh, holding on in case I need to shoot a looter? <laughs> <laughs> okay. And just use it like a pointer. See there? That uh, Does that look like an inscription to you or perhaps something else? Without uh, mentioning secret doors in case someone's listening. <laughs> <laughs> just tracing the outline for her to see. It's a door. It, it's squarish or rectangleish. Huh. Yeah, could be. Hmm. Uh, 
Let's do, uh huh. Maybe if we take, uh, if we like, uh, you know, touch it a bit. I just see like, 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 like something hidden in there, uh, you know, like, uh, so, so some uh, lost inscriptions or something that, uh, perhaps it wouldn't we, be, uh, perhaps if we, uh, clean the dust away. Yes. Yes. Let's clean the dust away a bit. Okay. So you, so basically what you're doing is, uh, sort of clearing a little bit so for the entrance are, to be a bit more visible. We are bullshitting. And Tom knows carefully praising these as uh, questions, so it's not uh, <laughs> technically yeah. untrue. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I got it. Yeah. But uh, I mean, there is a point in cleaning the dust away in case there's a grinding sound when we try to open this. Okay. So, we just you know take out some cloth, clean it, clean the ground, and conveniently also spending the time to take a very careful, detailed look at it. I would say, though, because I'm sorry about this, uh, I should have probably mentioned this as well uh, with the perception survival check, but uh, you can see, obviously, footsteps going in and out. Okay. Domino's going to put the bow away and make sure the uh, battle axe is uh, close to hand. <laughs> okay. Just lean it against the statue where he can quickly snatch it up. Got it, got it. So what now? You've... No, it's fine. I'll fucking do it as well. Give me a sec. Uh, we're... Like I said... Ta-da! We're just, um... Faffing around there, just cleaning it. And, uh... Using that as an opportunity to look for a trigger mechanism, essentially. Okay. Um, I would say, since you got, uh... Good successes as well on that... You don't see anything that seems to be inherently mechanical. There's no like, you know, lever or trigger or, you know, a pulley. Doesn't seem to be anything like that. Mm-hmm. So, hmm. Okay, we can't see on the inside of the uh, setting until we open it, because it's like a millimeter that it's too narrow a gap. Uh, are there any grind marks on the floor once we clear it? Uh, Does it open inwards or outwards, in other words? Uh, in, so it goes in. doesn't come out. There has to be a, a mechanism of some kind, unless they actually push it. There might be a, a handle on the... Uh, Inside, and this time I'm keeping it super low, so she uh, has to use Auspex to hear me. Hmm. Well, you know, it's just nod. And, uh, you know, I'm just say, let, let, let me try. Perhaps. Uh, let me try something, you know, and like, like press, like, my, like, you know, wait, 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 put my wait, wait, ear wait, next wait, to the wait, stone. Wait, 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 let's get the goons. In case oh. something jumps out at us. Hmm. <laughs> So you're able to go get the ghouls, and uh, the ghouls follow short, and uh, I presume you whisper something to them, and they uh Oh yeah, I uh, their... tell them that uh, we are entering a holy place, and I will personally cut off their left nut if they violate it, whatever their master might say afterwards. Curse. <laughs> <laughs> and that's a promise. <laughs> you can... Uh, Hold me to that, Demi, should it uh, yeah. become necessary. Yes, you're not allowed to lie, dumb. <laughs> it's also uh, my path thing. I can fully intend it and then later break it. But, uh, you know, as long as I intend it in the moment, I would assume. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, this I'm making them a promise. If they fuck with this, there will be the taking of a nut or suitably severe consequences of a similar kind. <laughs> They nod, and uh, they ready their weapons. Okay. Oh, and uh, in case you get tempted, uh, the sarcophagus in the center is loaded with magic and a uh, ancient um, heathen uh, war leader. So, um, if you don't want her coming out and chopping your balls off herself, really don't mess with the place. 
They take a small look at you, small look at back at the sarcophagus. No, I'm really not kidding, Treble, and I can confirm. Mm, I do. Back. Nod. Yeah, Donald, you 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 can see through their eyes, and you're not sure if it's fully due to the due to uh, blood binding or dominate or the like. But uh, they've got you know a soldiery feel to them. Mm -hmm. Okay, and uh, we are gonna start pressing on the door to see if it rotates inwards or uh, opens or slides in. Okay, you. Try and push. Try and do something. Nothing. Does it feel like Does there's a little given it's catching on something or nothing at all? Uh, nothing at all. And uh, you're pretty strong as well. And you know, I'm not sure. Are you gonna go? Uh, for now, I'm still gonna assume that you're slightly, um, slightly waiting a little bit, like not being super loud. But you're giving a decent amount of your strength, like half, and you don't feel any budge. You're not sure if it's because it's super heavy and thick or something, but you don't really feel that it's giving. Look at Triblana. The trigger is in the sarcophagus, isn't it? Let's hope not. <laughs> I do not want to open this, so... I mean, what we could still do is... Maybe... Maybe I just, just try brute strengthening it. Well, then uh, there's a good chance I, that we may I, I rather, be heard. If that's I, I, rather, I rather be heard from the people below than whatever could be in the sarcophagus. You know, because I did give some hints before, and you would have seen this as well, and I'm not going to cuck you in case because you guys are being so, you know cautious about this. Um, but I will increase the difficulty for this. Uh, roll me a both of you intelligence crafts at a difficulty of eight. Okay. I'm going to go with the two successes. Domino, you know, you're looking for mechanism. There has to be something, right? You know that for a fact. Like, Unless you, it's magic. You don't think... Unless it's magic. But uh, there is one thing that you just remembered, and that's by, you know, pushing and looking around. You remember the footsteps. And remember that some footsteps lead up to the stairs near the uh, statue giving, um, putting its hand out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, well, I uh, did uh, presumably uh, check that before, but uh, I'm going to go back uh, up there and take another look. Okay. You take a closer look this time, and it doesn't feel you know, like there's no mechanism. There's no anything on it. No hole, no, uh, you know, trigger anywhere you're looking below around the things but you're just like no you don't see anything domino is gonna look up at the statue and say i am deeply sorry if i am wrong about this and he's just gonna reach up take her hands and pull downwards you do so doesn't budge yep nope You know, just it. I just point upwards, instead of like pushing, uh, like you know, like like you know, it's just the other direction. Yep, I'm gonna try that. Nothing. So, are uh, you boys any good at puzzles? <laughs> they serve. Uh, this here is an oh, ancient uh, tomb and a, a secret door that leads deeper in. Any ideas? Uh, uh, let me, let me, <laughs> let me roll for it. <laughs> Give me a second, let me find it. If this isn't typically dumb, 
I will be disappointed to me. Uh, let me roll and let me tell you. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't have that. I suppose I can use that as a sort of a thing. Uh, hold up. That, yeah. They sort of think to themselves and uh, like, you got anything? No, are you? No. And one of them goes like, well, if we can't find a way to it, can't we just bring down a battering ram and just break it up? Don't know, just focuses on him with a look of pure fucking rage on his face. Bring what down here? The other three realize and look at like look at the one of guard and like, bro, you've just been told like, excuse me, my lord, common mistake. I think he's volunteering to be the battering ram. Uh, to mention, uh, I botched, so I'm gonna do something <laughs> stupid. <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Yeah, but they're they're thinking and they're putting suggestions. And it's like, well, maybe something's in the sarcophagi. No. One of them goes like the water. Maybe we have to take a swim. No. <laughs> Yeah, you, there's nothing, nothing intellectual about them. There's this, the statue stands away from the wall, I'm assuming. And there's a fair distance to the pools from the... Um, how to describe it? It's almost like it slightly overshadows, right? So it's almost like it's kind of a little bit hunched, like looking down at the person at the podium, like almost looking at the individual who she would be giving something to, right? Mm -hmm. Um, and how I'm describing it is there's a base, so there's a marble base, and there's stairs that goes up, right? And on that marble base is where the statue sort of goes up. And the statue is maybe, I want to say like maybe six, seven meters tall. It's, it's a decently tall statue, right? Like just a statue, not even looking at the base. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's not like aligned to the wall. It seems to be a self-standing statue. And that marble base that might be two and a half meters or something like large, right? Um, is where the wall is. And it's like on the right side of the uh, podium. So hmm. it's against the wall. So presumably the mechanism, and Domino is saying this out loud as well, to Triplana. So the mechanism could be tied to either the pools or the sarcophagus, either below the ground or through the walls in some way. It may even be the other sarcophagi in the walls that are tied to this. But they... The two guards that go and gave out the idea sort of perk up a little bit, it's like, oh, we did it. <laughs> but none of those seem like they have been moved. I'm not sure if the... I'm not sure if I can tell if the poles have been disturbed, if they are... Uh... The only thing I can think of is to try and check the slime at the bottom by feel to see if someone has been uh, digging around in there, but uh, that would be very hard to detect even with heightened senses. Hmm, that's true. I will be honest, uh, getting out a puzzle, even though it's simple as fuck and this is the first time GM, it's like, wow, guys. But, um, no, that's also giving a great example because uh, Kraft and the Dolph, the Dolph has died and Kraft isn't here yet. So, good job, guys. Thank you. God, he's getting fun of himself. Hmm. Look back up at the statue. I'm gonna... I'm gonna stand exactly where she's looking down and look up into her eyes. See if I can notice anything from that angle. Okay. This would be difficult. Give me a perception alertness roll. And this is with aspects, by the way, because this is only visible via aspects. Uh, give it to me at a nine. I'm gonna spend the little power point. Fuck this puzzle. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Uh, I'm not sure if tactical applies. I'm assuming not. No, but uh, two successes. Mm -hmm. So you look into the eyes, you peer, and you focus, and you're not sure what. Maybe it's the, the frustration or because you really want to do something. Something in the back sort of pushes, and your eyes focus in almost to a very, very small level. You can see the minutest of details. And you look into her eyes, and you don't see anything on the eyes itself, but something catches you off by very small detail. It's almost like the small, there's a small opening under the eyes. And you know, you're thinking maybe that's just how it's made, but then something catches you there. And you recognize this, even on the smallest, almost not really molecular level, but you notice this on the smallest of levels. Seems to be the smallest, faintest trace of blood. Oh, you fucking guns. Of course, there's some fucking blood magic going on. So, sacrifice a few blood points to start the boss fight, cunt. Got it. <laughs> Domino is, um... Can't... So, can I reach her face? She's pretty tall, I would have to actually climb the statue. Yeah, you would have to. Okay, so I guess I'm, uh... Hello. Mm-hmm. Is there, is she positioned in such a way that there's a convenient way to step up to uh, reach that place? I'd say there is, uh, but uh, since, you know, her arms are like that, you can use her arms almost as a podium going onto her shoulder, then maybe on the back and then onto things, but uh, it's possible. Fucking bullshit is what it is. And I would like to carefully uh, brush my fingers along the statue include like normally and just essentially run them over and past the places where people would have to step to get up and i'm looking for a change in texture like uh, places where the statue has been worn by uh, people repeatedly doing this at some point like uh like climbing or yeah, at their like hands because um you go there it's marbly uh and do note i have not touched marble statues so i wouldn't know the exact definition but uh i'd say with you know the intelligence roll from the four and things and your knowledge as well um it's not necessarily smooth obviously but it doesn't seem to be you know have been well worn you don't see places where somebody might have stepped there off and it doesn't feel like people climbed it hmm so, in that sense of the texture, you don't really feel a change. And but I will say, mm -hmm. since you're looking around and feeling things up, um, there's definitely a texture difference in the palms. It seems to be much smoother. Hmm. Donald does not want to be the offering she's holding. <laughs> not at all. Also, welcome back, Redemir. Uh, Domino is giving up and he wants to like, climb the fucking statue. <laughs> oh, fuck. We're already that far. Hmm. <laughs> So the but I, the Donald, 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 different. I know Chris understands at this point what needs to be done, but uh, he doesn't want to do it. It's a lot of fucking weight. I thought the ancient temples were supposed... Not again! <laughs> Stop, criminal scum. I thought ancient peoples were supposed to be good at counterweights and shit. Perhaps this is using a method that is not using counterweights. Seriously, don't make me turn off your camera. <laughs> okay, okay, go. Domino's gonna contemplate it. 
this is just shaking his head so fucking bullshit and he's gonna start taking off his boots <laughs> you take off your boots be ready if i'm right either that sarcophagus or this door is gonna open i, I ha take up my spear and position myself you do. Domino is gonna climb up and stand on the hands in his uh, socksies that aren't dated by sewer waste. You're not terribly heavy. Um, no, by the way, uh, your weapons, are you keeping your battle axe on and stuff? Or? The battle axe I'm leaving, the bow I'm keeping on my back. I would only have... I wouldn't have anything out. I would have my dagger and okay. my uh, bow on me. You step on the hands, and, you know, there's a, there's a feeling that, you know, it might break, right? But it doesn't. And you step there, and you wait, you know, and you're just, like, waiting for that something to happen. You're, like, you're there, nothing happens. You look up, and you can still see the same sad face. Which is also indicative to the storyteller's disappointment in you. <laughs> Treblana, try pushing on the door now. I, 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 I God damn it. Hold my spear, like, you know, <laughs> and hand it over. Keep it ready, and like, start pushing. You go, you poop poop, get ready to push. Nothing, doesn't budge. I don't know shit about ancient Roman goddesses. I just know that I need to be respectful or I get smote. <laughs> you know, don't you wish you had like Warhammer 40k, which is essentially a, uh, hey, do a logic check. <laughs> I mean, isn't that basically uh, rolling for uh, enigmas? Enigmas would be riddles and the likes. This isn't, I suppose. To a degree, but at the same time, it's just like yeah, it's when your one player buys up that one thing so fucking high, and you just don't want to give it to them because it's like no, bullshit. It's, it's, literally, it's, it's literally not that. Um, sure, since it's puzzled like that, uh, we can go for that. No, no, no. I was let's, uh, gonna... let's let's keep uh, let's keep studying this. It's fine. Sure, go for it. Not my fucking it's, issue. Uh, it's just Sir Francis's life ticking away. <laughs> hmm. Can I see anything else about the arms here? Presumably people have stepped here. Uh, looking at the shoulder joints where they would have to rotate, can I from this angle see any uh, slight gaps like with the door? Um, I'd say no, no joints, no, no, nothing mechanical. <laughs> you can't. <sighs> Let's just do that while one do it as a battering ram. <laughs> no, we are not desecrating this temple. <laughs> uh, the uh, yeah, it's chance. Uh, actually, can I reach the face from here? Like with my fingertip. I'd say there's maybe a meter, meter and a half difference. Not yet. Hmm. It, as I said, it's decently tall and. That's not decently tall for ancient times. It's fucking huge, by the way. Fair. Yeah, I mean, then you remember the uh, uh, Colossus and uh, that took an. In... <laughs> there was mm -hmm. enough fucking bronze to equip an army, and that was one statue. It was special, cause there was only one. Cause no one was stupid enough to keep building those. No, I just like to imagine ancient stories. So we had a Bronze Age collapse. So we made a statue out of bronze. <laughs> hmm. 
Hmm. What if we try just putting like a coin? Since since we like fought coins, uh, um, I, uh, first yeah. thing I did was put uh, coins in the uh, hand. Or oh, about that. Uh, nothing happened. But uh, just notified because uh, I didn't finish the describing. But nothing happened when you put a coin in. Mm -hmm. The hands are their convenient flecks of blood on them. Nope. You know, with the previous um, roll that you did to peer into the essences, I'm going to use that one. I will say that in the very depths, almost like very deep down, you can see a little bit. It's it's like so minuscule. It doesn't on the hands, you know. Yeah, on the palms. The palm alms. I don't alming palms. How do you fucking want to say it? Donald doesn't want to uh, make a mess, so she's gonna make his. Uh, thumb bleed slightly to see if uh, the palms are actually absorbing uh, the blood in some kind of magical bullshittery before he starts pouring it everywhere. Okay. You do so. And you pour a little bit and it sort of like Just a puddles up. Smear. Yeah. Smear puddle up. And it, maybe about five seconds later does it go in. And it feels... You, you look at this phenomenon, right? It feels unnatural because it's sort of just like, imagine a vacuum cleaner, just like, shoop, cleans it almost fucking clean. <sighs> Fuck, it's a blood sorcery thing. We have to bleed on the hands. We did it, Twitch. <laughs> Why would that it. be anyone's go-to as a sane thinking individual, Demi? That's the thing. Because, you, what, fair enough on that point, like, but the sarcophagus also, is sure. magical. Not picking up anything from statue. Okay, stay away from the undead bitch queen. <laughs> With the aspect activated, it's only when you put the blood on do you actually uh -huh, feel uh -huh, uh -huh. Yeah, no, but that's the yeah. thing. In character, oh, no you, fucking I'm, reason to... Uh... Fair enough, I'm telling you now, because that's sort of how I envision it, at least. It's only when you put it that you feel almost like veins working through. You can feel like there's a course. The, uh, the sarcophagus was more of an AOE emanating, right? Mm. This one you can feel has a course that seems to be going throughout the entire satchel, almost like as veins. <sighs> so I should have said something earlier, but uh, I don't think it would was necessarily a wise idea to donate your own blood for this. Since, uh, uh, since since now there's a sympathetic link uh, or potentially for any magic happening within the statue. Yes, um, thank but... you. I know that it's a dumb fucking idea, but these fuckers have been doing it to get in, so presumably it's not that bad. Having that discussion and with the little amount of blood you put in, the magic effect that seems to emanate also quickly goes away. Yeah, no, no, no. We're oh, going to yeah. have to really bleed. We're aware of that at this point. <laughs> oh, yeah. The, the, uh, the sarcophagus uh, was, uh, did, didn't act up, right? Like no magic, no magic energy or something. I mean, the same magic energy, but it didn't go up or down. It's still the same feeling. Yeah, that's good. It's just waiting for someone of sufficiently low generation to come down here before it wakes. Ohayou <laughs> gozaimasu. I mean, if Francis was seven <laughs> Cursed. Okay, well, well, what if he, if he just uh, ask, ask the ghouls to... Uh... To bleed on a little bit. I know of so, someone yeah. who wants to volunteer to look at the sacrilegious cunt. <laughs> <laughs> um, I can't say in his name, but I feel Adolphus's character wouldn't be up for it because that's a heathen. No, that no, would no, be no. The uh, ghoul that was like, let's bring a battering ram. I'm looking at him. Okay. Sort of a uh, Steps up, uh, small sweat comes down. 
if that must is what must be done. Crap. Party people. I am Hello. here. Uh, Adolphus is dead as well, Hurricane. What so, the fuck? <laughs> just to give you a heads up, speed up. You botched on a perception empathy roll because you were asked to uh, auspex too, which I rolled for you. Uh, what the fuck? Uh, you basically just saw a different aura for the uh, ghouls and it would make some mischief. You went through a place. Now you're in another room, which is uh, has a sarcophagus leaking magic, a big ass statue of uh, the goddess Hera with sort of alms and pal palms giving alms. Fucking hell, I hate that. Um, palms magic giving alms. At a hidden door, more sarcophagus layered and pools of water. And uh, the sarcophagus in the middle that is uh, going with uh, giving out magic is uh, very rich looking and is dedicated to uh, Boudica. Before you uh, ask to retroactively roll for looting, I have been actively keeping an eye on people trying to do that. <laughs> yeah, uh, you don't know about my gold though from last year. I don't session. know, but this is clearly a pagan temple. And uh, my path is all about pagan. that shit. So, actual oh pagan. And Treblana was trying, well, got a rat to steal a Hadrian Roman coin from the pool. Presumably, she gave it back, given. Uh... Yeah, no, I said to um, I don't uh, like put it back. No. Uh, yes, they, uh, they uh, have discovered the uh, way to uh, open the hidden door. Uh, for the rest of you, you know, the, you know, Severn was kind of always in the back, you know, have repping at the ready, but, uh, his presence seems to come back. What the Seemed fuck? Seemed a, a bit out of the days. So this is probably, uh, blood magic. So, uh, I'm gonna make the, uh, leap of, uh, logic here, Treblana. Mortal blood ain't gonna do shit unless we drink it first. Depends on depends on the magic in question. It it could be. Uh, I think it's worth worth a try before we uh, use our own blood. Why don't you uh, just like uh, just a drop, like uh, prick your thumb or something? See if it uh, let's see if it goes in the marble. Come on, uh, take your boots off before you climb up here. <laughs> they they do so, and the uh, one you looked at first goes up, and uh, puts a finger out. Don't know who's gonna, you know, he's gonna restrain himself from stabbing down hard <laughs> as he uses his dagger. <laughs> yeah, all you need to do is just do a small prick on your fucking just sorry. straight through the pop. There we go. <laughs> Thank God. Fucker was like, let's take a battering ram to the statue of the pagan goddess. Bitch has it coming. <laughs> oh, good thing Adolphus isn't here, though. The Christian guy and the boot, and the fucking pagan guy. Uh, not together. I, was was ish here, and then he died. Hurricane. Oh. Okay. So, gonna um, get him up there. Smear it across the palm, see if it goes in. It tickles, it trickles a little bit before, you know, slowing down and stopping. And about five seconds after, you know, it lands and sort of settles, so to say. Schlurps in. And you can feel the magic vein thing slightly activate and then go back to being dead. Or re resonating nothing. Hmm. <laughs> it means we need to sacrifice about what? So, let's take this one step further, because clearly this place is already loaded with fucking magics, and uh, the statue is regularly used for this purpose. Let's test animal blood. <laughs> I hand him a rat. Hello, little buddy. <laughs> Hold oh, still. No. Rat turns <laughs> Master. Master. <laughs> No, don't resist. That will be over quickly. So I'm gonna. I feel malice. He's Domino's gonna very slowly prick it, but if the rat bites, 
the second cut goes through the chest. <laughs> Jesus. Thank Poor me. fucking rat. <laughs> Make me a... I'd say strength intimidation roll. Okay. This is to, uh... I want to see how the rat looks at you. If you're too terrifying, it won't fight back. Two successes. I'll say that's enough. So the rat, you, know, you go for the rat. It was aggressive at start, but uh, as you sort of, you know, take the night out, you sort of like, uh, you know, feel menacing, so to say. It ends up sort of like looking at the master. Sort of just like, I'll trust you, master. It sort of just relax. It tries to relax. It's still stiff, but it relaxes. Okay. There we go. Fix my video. Welcome back. Just, uh, yeah. See if a drop okay. of uh, red blood uh, actually does the trick. Okay. You put it in. Uh, you, well, the, the blood trickles a little bit. And after stabilizing, five seconds pass. Slurps in. And you can feel the magic. But this one's a lot weaker than before. Demi, do I have any wine bottles on me? I don't know, Severin. Would you be bringing wine down a fucking <laughs> crypt? <laughs> uh... Dude, there was some old wine uh, uh, earlier. Oh, don't touch it. <laughs> it is nasty. Maybe that's what really? you want. So, blood, oh, well, blood seems to work. So, animal blood doesn't hold as much power. We we know that. Those of us who have tried it, at least. Um. <laughs> Did you look at me while saying that? <laughs> yeah, among uh, <laughs> others. Um. So. Here's what I'm thinking. We might not want to put too much of our own blood in if we can avoid it, right? Yeah. And we don't want to be weakened in case we have to fight. Same thing for the ghouls. We'd rather not bleed them white because they might have to fight. What do you think, Treblana? You think you can uh, call up enough animals to uh, fill this thing up? Build a pile of probably, little ratty corpses. I probably would have to go further back to the uh, to the sewers, but most likely, uh, they, they call, call like you know, put a rat uh, uh, that that was with me when I uh, fed last time. You you know what to do. <laughs> okay, so turn to the sacrilegious one. You looked out. Animal blood seems to work. Yes, my lord. Oh, don't worry. I wouldn't. Ha I would have tried not to kill you anyway. You're someone else's property. <laughs> <laughs> Looks at you blankly for a second. Thank you, my lord. <laughs> I mean, I am perfectly fucking correct, Redmer. Don't you give me that shit. So That's literally what ghouls are. Yeah, I know. It's it's like borrowing someone else's lawnmower and bringing it back with all the blades shot to pieces. You don't do that. <laughs> but if you want to go back and see about collecting rats, uh, give me the uh, roll. God damn it. Oh. Oh, no, so why crazy. are we comp doing the magic? Why are we trying to complete the magic ritual in the magical sarcophagus uh, of the rebel? Because uh, the statue the... doesn't tie to the sarcophagus. We believe it ties to a secret door, which is the only way out of this room, other than where we came from. Basically. Oh, okay. There's a secret okay, way okay. further in we're trying to access, and it's this right, or the right. battering ram. Mm -hmm. I see. <laughs> all right, then it makes sense. Okay, okay. Okay. I'm like. <laughs> Like, uh, I, I want to spend. I just want to say, like, I want to spend the willpower. That's okay. all. Oh, yeah. Christmas survival difficulty six. Yeah. Good. 
That's not a good power. God damn it. Uh, you go out to the sewers. The first thing that you see is the uh, Nosferatu. Sort of playing fetch with one of the uh, with, one, with, with a rat right outside, right? <laughs> sort of just throwing like a, rat, a small little pebble. Rat picks up, brings it, and uh, he sees you coming. Like, stands up. Uh, are you finished? Came just to fetch something. All right. He'll step, sit down again, and uh, you use your power. And the one rat he was playing to comes to your knees, like, "Hello." <laughs> <laughs> uh, they did. It. They're good at fetch, I guess. They didn't kill the fucking rat. <laughs> one success is uh, a single animal response. So I'm just gonna be like, "Yeah, that's the one." <laughs> All right. I will. Um, I need your help. Um. We we need your we need your friends. I you know, like also look at my yeah, like you know my own rats, especially the one that uh, that 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 knows um, how this is gonna go. Is there any way we and, can uh, uh, aid his attempt? Because presumably, this is the thing to do right now. Yeah, uh, the thing is, uh, he first has to call them over. You'll be able to see the problem. Uh, Trebon would probably tell you in a sense that uh, obviously, even if you call them all, they won't line up to be fucking sacrificial, right? Mm -hmm. So you probably be helping in a sense of collecting or keeping them in line. Uh, but this is just Shablana trying to call him. And she got one ran. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, you know, pretend that this is like how it's supposed to go. And uh, and I'd say, perfect. Uh, that's uh, <laughs> all <it's> set. <laughs> Try again. Uh, by the way, do you do a, a cumulative difficulty? I'd say it would. So oh. we're all seven this time. Is this okay, uh, okay. supposed to take this long, Treblana? Uh, I'm trying to get a, get a lot of them. I'm gonna spend a bit for again. <laughs> Treblana, before you, uh, I had a thought. Demi, how quickly is uh, how far is the castle away from here? At um, say, a obfuscated Malkavian moving at a full run. Um, usually by just normal pace. No, uh, running. Walk, no, no, I'm trying to calculate. Walking pace out of these sewers is about 15 minutes. From there to the castle is about another 15 minutes. So 30 minutes. So full pace, you might be able to get there in 10. Okay. You know, I could just uh, quickly run back to the castle and see if there's any leftover blood left from the party. That's just, that's fair, yeah. Might be a good idea to report about the secret passage before we all get killed as well. That, just, that is indeed true. Okay, <laughs> you... How about you guys do this and um, I'll be back in half an hour. Hour tops. Okay. Uh, we'll quickly go through that. Um, because this is kind of the important part. So, I'd say that... Uh, it wouldn't be difficult to ask around, especially, uh, you know, with Roland and some of the uh, privilege you kind of have in this scenario. Yeah. No, uh, and you're able to in uh, the uh, Seneschal yeah, Sheriff. I, I would go to the Seneschal's uh, office uh, directly. Just, uh, guards, uh, is he in? Please uh, tell in. him that uh, I'm here. Uh, we found something. Um, just, uh, yeah, I can talk to myself just knock on that door yeah uh, don't worry as i said let's go through that uh, mm -hmm. quickly because we're wasting time anyways so you're able to inform don't worry about that uh and you'll happily have access and his permission to uh access some of the uh leftover if need be mm -hmm. so i'm gonna effectively take as much as i can comfortably uh, carry without risking dropping it as i run okay um i'd say that would be with your dexterity and strength as well. I'd say comfortably, uh, if you have pockets, and uh, are you just like carrying them like in your hand or just what are you doing? How are like- If I can get like some kind of a satchel from the castle, I would use that. Yeah. Uh, in that case, I'd say, you know, in a satchel and stuff, you might be able to carry comfortably uh, six bottles of wine. So that's about six blood points. Okay. Gonna start hoofing it back. You do so, and uh, some time passes. I think at this point in the night, it'd be doing all of that, maybe 
one in the morning because you kind of just started there by the time you get there stuff stuff yeah, i think 1 a.m sort of uh, fits yeah uh, it would have been a really quick rundown i uh, found a pagan temple uh Boudic is buried there uh sarcophagus is loaded with magic best not to open it um uh, there's a statue there it uh, drinks blood we think feeding it blood opened the secret door so uh we're gonna try that just uh be aware all that is down there all right. He'll want a, you know, a more slower and uh, more comprehensive report when you come back. But if it's urgent, understandable. Have a nice day, night. Mm -hmm. And you're able to bring back, and uh, you see Domino come in, sort of a, uh, you know, in the <laughs> sense of a, uh, I got the good shit. <laughs> Just clink, 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 clink. <laughs> Look at what I got. How many rats did you catch in the meantime? <laughs> 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 Let's find out. <laughs> Are you still gonna rat, uh, hunt for rats? <laughs> sure, why not? Roll the uh, charisma survival. Uh, difficulty seven. Yeah, like what was again? Like I'm gonna spend the uh, uh, as I said before the uh, willpower. <laughs> Let's hope. <laughs> God fucking damn it! <laughs> it's a botch. Or did you spend the willpower? He did. Yeah, spend the yeah. yeah, it's it's not a botch. Oh, oh, so close. You lost the one rat you had. Not like this. <laughs> <laughs> they, they must have been all killed, I guess. <laughs> you know, since we saw like uh, black mountains of uh, red cops before, mm -hmm. I, I believe I believe the supplies must uh, are exhausted down here. The one rat that uh, you know you was with the Nasradu will uh, come back. Wait, what? Why did it leave? Uh, didn't you ask for its help? Oh, in, in a sense. So. Yeah, I'm it says it'd be like going a little bit through things and as he sort of beckons like hey, hey you gotta work it'll come back sort of very slowly sad look up to you so um mom said not to hang out with strangers anymore <laughs> mommy was right boy now come with me <laughs> <laughs> who asked your mommy <laughs> i gotta go <laughs> Was fun, was fun, lady. I, I just, you know, like pat on my um, or like, or like whatever the other rats are clinging to. They come with me. Yeah, we're going on an adventure. <laughs> the knife is a surprise <laughs> tool that will help us later. Roll me. I mean, I can just command it if you if you want me to. If you want to command, you can. Or you can roll something like charisma empathy. Empathy with a rodent. Yes. See, this see, animal can would work as well, but in this case, empathy is like, do you really want to separate us from its mommy like that? Yes. yes. <laughs> Understand. <laughs> uh, yeah, you can make if you want the manipulation animal can to sort of command it. Uh, that can just use uh, the, the, the power for it. Triplana just yeah, yeah. standing in a uh, long coat around the dark corner. It's like, hey, kid, uh, you want some candy? <laughs> so let me just, uh, so uh, six, I assume you're using animalism, so I'm using animal sounds, so that would be that. Uh, not, I, I would say it evens out because I do think the uh, rat would uh, consider this as a dangerous command, but minus one for speaking, so it goes at six. All right. There we go. It sort of, you sort of speak up and it sort of wrenches back. It's like, thinks to itself for a bit, like rat.exe stopped working. <laughs> it's like, will I get a reward at the end of it? Yes. You, you, uh, you, you get the, the good stuff. Yeah, the, uh, it stands on its two, stands on its two feet. Which that? See ya, mom. I'm going on an adventure. <laughs> You're gonna get the best stuff up in ratty heaven. <laughs> and, it, and it clings up, and, and you hear the conversational bit, like, "Hey, youngin." Hi. <laughs> They start having small rat talk. <laughs> no, Mr. Bot, I don't want to become famous. I'm playing with Demi right now. <laughs> uh, you can, I suppose, note that you have three rats now. 
Not enough for a retainer dime. <laughs> But uh, you have the blood, and you have one new companion on the row. <laughs> not for long. <laughs> for long. <laughs> so, what now? Well, probably waiting for uh, Domino to come yeah, back. Yeah, I'm presuming Domino comes back. You have everything ready. So, what now? So, uh, how many did he... How many do you manage to uh, get? Unfortunately, only one. I believe the supplies are exhausted down here. Domino clings slightly as he walks. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't say anything. <laughs> yeah, you guys uh, go back, reconvene into the... Uh... I'll, I'll call this, the, uh, well, no, actually, this wouldn't be the sarcophagus room. Room two. Fuck it. Okay. So the rat or the bottles first? Suppose we should uh, drink whatever is left, so... Keep ourselves at top strength, so... Rat? Yeah, so probably rat. <clears throat> okay. Uh, I tell her that the, the new rat to, uh, to, to go... To climb up and the other rats to like follow its suit. Oh no! <laughs> I, I, mean, I contact with the other, with, with the, with, you know, the the rat from a, from a, that was the, there in the last time. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> uh, you know, I, I, can, I can I can reach it from the ground, right? Uh, you you can. You know, there's a stairs to get up to it, to the arms. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go up there, like really carefully, so, so because Domino seems to care really much about uh, this place. Domino is uh, gonna go uh, up as well, so he can, you know, start pouring the good shit on there once the rats are dead. So we have a continuous stream since it seems to require to build up uh, quite a charge. Curse. <laughs> so, um, yeah, the rats are in the arm, and uh, you know the veterans salute. The new bee just sort of looks. Yes. Uh, don't ignore that. We die for yeah. the god empress. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, so are you going to kill them first or are you going to douse them with the blood? Douse them with the blood? What the fuck are you talking about? We're cutting their fucking throats. <laughs> and squeezing them out over their hands. Okay. So. <laughs> Kirst, uh Leave me just one second. How much, uh, how many, how, how much was a, um. How much was one rat a blood point? I think it's like uh, four rats make a blood point. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't remember. Like, what the fuck is this shit? In you can't book? Google this shit either. You have to fucking look for it in the book. You can't just mm-hmm. Google how many rats for one blood point on Google. Exactly. Uh, uh, PDFs being bad. Just entering rat just puts out everything that has rat. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. Okay, so... Three rats, and how much of the uh, bottles are you sipping in as well? Uh, as many as it takes. Okay. Effectively, I'm just going to keep pouring after the rats are dead until I feel the magic take hold. Okay. So, you pour and kill, and like the, uh, the it starts flaring, you know, going up, and uh, you pour, start pouring a little bit, and you can already see the Shloop, sucks and happening sort of slowly this time it doesn't just slip up but you can see it the rise diminishing and you can feel the magic in the veins and obviously it's stronger now that there's more of a presence and it's lingering this time and you can start hearing something almost like slightly mechanical like sort of grinding almost like sort of like gears almost to a degree um something clicking and you can see the the door yeah don't know assumes that the door's going to uh, open. He's looking at the sarcophagus whenever he glances away. <laughs> oh yeah, one blood point equals four rats. Found it. Nice. Uh, by the way, uh, uh, since since you said the uh, rats are bigger than the than the good rats, should probably yield a bit more than yeah. that. Yeah. Um, and you did also feed them blood, so they do have some extra blood in them as well, so to say. 
Well, I got so, the adjective for a rat too. Do you want to know? So I'm gonna say that uh, with the rat, well, the rat had an entire blood or a little bit of blood. Let's say, fuck it. But the door opens, and the magic, sta- you know, goes up. The door fully opens, and you hear at the end, sort of like you know, a little bit of you know, it's stopping, and the magic is still resonating through the veins, but. Uh, those with more keen uh, sights can feel that it's uh, also slowly losing its potency. Uh, and from terms of sarcophagus, it's still resonating magic, but nothing beyond that. Coin didn't move. Okay, uh, how much uh, blood did we have to use to get the statue to open up like this? Um, it started opening up uh, three, three dead rats and uh, you started pouring a little bit as well. Um, I'd say you'd use a bottle. Okay. And it started opening up. Is there an obvious place once we look inside the doorway where uh, you would pour blood on the inside to get out? There is. Something akin to a uh, stone sink as well, in a sense. But uh, it does seem to be a uh, similar, in the, in, similar in the sense of there. It's um, not... Palms, palms, it seems to be much more of a bowl like feet. feet. Oh, yeah. And you'd presume that that might be used as well. Okay, um, unless someone is really hungry, uh, figure we should uh, save at least two of these for getting out. So, is anyone particularly uh, famished? No, I'm full actually. How many blood points do I have? One, so are you guys going in or not? Yeah, we're going to be going in. Okay. So as you go in and, you know, the magic feels starts lessen, sort of, in a sense, um, it starts diminishing. And I suppose, you know, assume that all of you go in, you know, there's still lights and presence. And as you sort of go in, wait a bit, you feel the magic stop for a second. But rather go very low and you can feel the gears and just sort of slowly close the door. And as the door closes, there's almost just the magic stops since you don't feel the magical presence anymore. So the door behind you is now closed. All right, I think we should first look for like a way. Yeah. Wait, did the ghouls come with us, or are we by ourselves now? Let's say we bring the ghouls with us. Yeah. I've already informed the uh, higher-ups uh, how to get us back out, or how to get in here, rather. Yeah. Um, I think we should uh, look for a way out first, before we uh, go well, in deeper. No, just uh, points at the stone ball. I expect it's uh, that. Feels like it. No real pole goes down, but it's a, it's a well-made sort of a marbleish bowl essentially that is domish, you know, under. I mean, we can always uh, put the drop in there. See if yeah. it uh, gets absorbed. If you do, uh, it does. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I will note just in case combat does come up and stuff uh, for the door to now. The, obviously pouring blood that's going to take turns uh, but the door itself also takes a turn to open okay like fully so so no retreat so um no retreat suicide is all the only option Domino is gonna hold out the uh, new bottle he opened yeah any takers otherwise i'm just gonna down this i could be a little fuller i'm good i'm, I'm literally full sorry lumber <sighs> Lambert, I, Lambert's uh, missing three until he's full. Yeah, so I'm. So I would su- with, Yeah, I would suppose Adolphus would be it would take one. Okay, then I'm uh, gonna give it to him and keep the other four that we have left for now. Okay. So, the hallway here seems to also be decently long. Is it a hallway or a? Ominous stairway leading downwards. You know what? <laughs> I didn't plan it, but let's, let's do it like that. It's both. 
it's a hallway that sort of goes a bit and then there's a stairway but this stairway actually goes up a little bit not down up and uh, you can see familiar murals from the previous hallway essentially here but with one key distinction with this hallway and especially those with aspects and things you guys can see there is light at the sort of uh, as you're going up and you sort of see you know another entrance there is light flickering light uh, or I, steady light well i assume it would be or torch light essentially uh i will also know for posterity's sakes uh there are as you go up the stairs like small little inlets uh that have like very small small uh statues and these seem to be uh all dedicated to uh Hera once again mm -hmm. okay if there is light coming from there uh domino would like to obfuscate and uh, sneak up ahead to take a uh, peek so you don't walk into some uh, bullshit okay so i'm gonna change the map by the way now no the drawing how will we find our way back out? <laughs> Oof, nothing happens. Oh, there we go. New map? Damn it, actually. Oh, yeah, it's a battle shit. map! No! Fuck? Is this a fucking... Uh... This is that map maker map, right? Or is this a default? Some default shit? Ah, it's only from... Yeah, look, look, look. Uh, yeah, roll right. for intuition. Oh, okay, I see them. Patreon.com. I see how it is. <laughs> you can't even <laughs> fucking remove that. What the fuck, man? It's literally one color day. Like, you literally just need to, like, play some blue over that shit, and nobody would have known. No. Gosh. So, uh, That's it's a, not... a fucking throne room, by the way. Uh, yes, it no, is. No. So, obviously, I'm taking this as a example. Uh, but to describe, so, so you're going up, uh, just make me a, uh, with stealth. I'd say at six. Just to sort of, uh, see if you're able to, you know, maintain a sound, because there are, at times, loose brick, and obviously... Ah, yes, but that's place. a dex roll, isn't it? For, uh, stepping carefully. Fair, but isn't uh, keeping obfuscate on usually just with stealth? Uh, keeping obfuscate on is, but I'm also moving uh, stealthily using uh, my feetsies. Oh, in that case, sure. Uh, you can go with dexterity stealth. Uh, difficulty 6 in general. Okay. Nice. That Specialties? Is, uh, uh, swift, but uh, don't think that applies here. No, I don't think it would. Uh... So, give me a second. No, that would be a failure. So in that case, now make the wit stealth to maintain obfuscate. Great. Uh, I think that was... Uh... Oh, oh my god. Understandable. Have a nice day. Uh, the thing is, obviously... Unless you actually the best wanted that 7. But... Uh, no, no, I wanted it... Uh, I... I... Uh, let me just see how obvious game works uh, to see if where the uh, ah hold up oh. there's no role necessary to conjure an unseen presence should a canine draw attention to yourself uh, extend up the little call for wit stealth roll difficulty from 5 to 9 based on the amount of noise or calamity the canine has caused I would have said that this wouldn't have been you know it wouldn't have been a 5 so I think a 6 would be an okay. order here then, uh, so it was just a pure so um not really to your surprise, since the, uh, you know, door made a fuck ton of noise and a grinding noise, you come up here and you see, you know, there's torchlight around, sort of placed a little decent high. And this is sort of a representation, but the place looks like a, um, has a feeling of an amphitheater to a to degree, in a sense that there is places to sit on the side. And then there's another little stairs leading up to like a second floor where there seems to be more places to sit. And it ends up being sort of a two layered place. And in the middle, basically almost like here, uh, you see that there is one giant sort of stone slab, essentially. So they're like stairs around like this. 
Uh, yeah, uh, just take a, uh, no, 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 uh, more of, uh, think these place. So on the side, there's like, uh, places to sit and watch like stone benches and the like, uh, but there are stairs up here that lead to a second floor that look down essentially think like a opera theater in a sense, amphitheater, however you want to go, All but right. sort of a modernist feel to it and undergroundish. So sort this looking... shit doesn't exist and this. Yeah, those are room. simply going to a, second, to, a, to a second floor. Uh, as I said, obviously, unless I wanted to make my own map, which I could, but that takes time and I'm a lazy fuck, and I'm not a pro player to have the memory, so I took something as a representation. Yeah, no, this is uh, more confusing. Yeah. Okay, perfect. But all you need to know is that in the middle here, there's a, basically a stone slab, and at the back here, there is also a uh, exit. There seems to be a stair stairway leading up forward. So we're uh, coming in from the south. Yeah, you're basically coming in from the south, coming up. And I'd say with that wall and stuff, um, that you sort of, uh, as you're coming up, one of the uh, stairs there near the top-ish sort of uh, lets loose real quick and starts making a little bit of sound. And you realize as you sort of look up and sort of peek over, your office gate broke, you can feel it. And there you can see Certain individuals are waiting for you, essentially. Not at the very top, sort of in the back. Sort of uh, weapons out, already sort of somewhat knowing of your presence. Sort of look at you and sort of grin. And uh, you see, um, well, a bunch of them, actually. Um, not you're not like able to man. count fully, but uh, you'll see on the battle map, ten of them. But... Because Adolphus is in here, and this is a big battle and stuff, and I want him to be up to snuff. Let's leave it at that for the time being. If that's okay. And combat's gonna last a little while as well, and I don't want Chris to go to fucking, mm -hmm. you know, 1 a.m. You know, it's so, it's so concerning that you, that you say that uh, it's basically combat guaranteed. See, I might be able to bullshit my way out of this with my, uh, what is it, uh, four dice in manipulation, subterfuge, and complete inability to lie. He can try. You can definitely try. I could, I could just give them the password. Uh, we know we uh, suffer, we fight. Or uh, however it goes. Or however it goes, guys. <laughs> nobody actually cares, them. Yeah, sorry. nobody cares, but uh, like uh, in character, don't know what I remember don't... by now. Yeah, I know. I don't blame you for not caring because we're not the kind of people who care about that much. We um, know we suffer, we wait. We fight. We fight. All right. I forgot to add that in my notes, Lomo. But we'll leave the cliffhanger essentially on a uh, combat scenario or presumably Can a combat scenario. Can we see uh, pictures of uh, who we're going to be fighting? Sure. Oh, then we have stuff ready. What the fuck? He has been preparing to kill us with these from session one. I mean, he owes me a second life, so... These are just a representation. Uh, probably should find a better picture in the meantime, but uh, I will say, because you're able to see, some of them are torched uh, equipped oh, with axes. Oh, fuck, some it's an Asamite cult. Some of them are equipped with... You know, I'll, I'll find a better picture, but just know they have leather armor, seemingly. You can see that they have axes and some of them have torches so good luck but let's uh let's end, end the session there properly and let's go to uh stuff craft you little bitch what do you want i really can't ask you how the session was because you weren't there for a long time so um what can i do man i had a meeting i forgot about it's very simple, Craft. You don't gain experience. Don't schedule meetings for fuck? Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but... sorry. This was a lot more people than just me. Let me change the meeting just for my sake. Yes, exactly. That's Assert dominance. Not... Yes, that's when I... whenever I'm late, my mom always tells me just ask them to move it. It doesn't work. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't work. No shit, it doesn't work. <laughs> Fuck off, mom! You don't understand. <laughs> I'm going on an adventure. <laughs> so, uh, but craft for the little part. Um, 
and little knowledge that you have that uh, was given to you essentially. Um, got anything? Oh fuck! What was, what was it that we used to say? Shit. Pretty good overall. The session was okay. Pretty good yeah. overall, yeah. Pretty good overall. Understandable. Good <laughs> stuff. It was okay, but pretty good overall. Oof. Don't worry, Craft. So let's go to the two people that matter during the Oof. session. It's not my fault that Dolphus fucking died to a hurricane. Chris, out of character in character. Out of character? Hmm. Knowing that I'm up ahead by a little ways from the others, that there's like 10 of these fucks, I think uh, opening the sarcophagus was the right call and we should uh, head back and eat Boudica and then leave the city. In character, <laughs> of all the times. Fuck. <laughs> Bless the dice. Should Lana. Well, like in, in character, I don't want to think. Well, this is um, this is rather unfortunate. I wish, she wishes like she would have died like in some uh, some exciting ways, but not I like guess this. If that's it. <laughs> Crap! No, you look like the fucking Gestapo. Uh, yeah. By the way, everyone. <laughs> In the reception uh, for my uh, for the freshmen, have this hat. Why? And then they have a fucking uh, tailcoat to jacket. Jesus, look great. Fuck. Looks like they're about to fucking beat your ass. Why? Why did God intend this? Look at this. And it's beautiful. Uh, out of character, Redmer. Uh, out of character. Well, a pretty good session overall. Understandable. And uh, other than that, yeah, that, that fucking puzzle. Go kill yourself. You know, I gave all the hints. You <laughs> fucking didn't. Ah, oh, yes, there's living magic present here. Hmm. So there's real mages. Why would this be a blood magic thing? Ah, oh, yes, it's probably some kind of symbology. Well, see, for you, it was anti living. For Jablana, who's more familiar, it's necromancy. Okay. Then the magic source. You said there was also living magic on the sarcophagus, so um. Yeah. No, I said anti living, the opposite of living. You said there were two. Yeah, yeah. two. The second one was not living magic, just regular magic. Like it just feels like regular magic. Doesn't feel. What like... the fuck, Demi? You literally hinted at there being mages involved. You did no. multiple times. We kept clarifying. What the fuck? Even initially, I asked. Does this feel like living magic since I'm familiar with fey shit? You were said like, yeah, yeah, you feel like two signatures, one like that and one that's uh, anti-living. Okay, in that what case, the fuck, damn it. I specified anti-living. Anti-living wouldn't have been living magic. You said there were wouldn't. two signatures, one that's living, yes. one that isn't. Let, let's just make a short. Who here thinks that Demi said for it? Raise your hand. <laughs> 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 I'm like not, Debbie. I will not, I will not, look, I know I'm bad at explaining some shit because I have to go fast, but, like, yeah, same you, point. you speak once and they go off the entirely wrong track and then you can't correct it because you don't want to admit that you're wrong and you suck at being an ST, Demi, <laughs> but sometimes yeah. it being that way and you're just playing bad and you need to own up to it. I, I, I thought the clues would mostly be, hey guys, this is a kindred sanctuary, what do kindred like and offer up? Usually. No, it went like, yeah, there was a powerful mortal mage here who was also able to manipulate the forces of death. Uh, don't fuck with it over much with your disgusting uh, undead crap and try and be respectful and find a symbology that opens this. Why do you think we kept looking for some symbolic crap? Fair enough, fair enough. That's my mistake. But if you want clarification, as I said, the one magic signature from the uh, from the uh, sarcophagus is essentially equivalent to necromancy. It feels like death magic if you want to like go like that. The other yeah. one, yeah, sorry. Like if you want, I can go fucking D and D magic school on this bullshit if you want. I just don't want to do that. Like I like do you want? Okay, yeah, sure. One of the things was necromancy. The other one would have been abjuration. Or something but the other magical signature that you felt is not 
living, so to say. It's not necromancy either. It just feels like a magical presence seems to be somewhat emanating from it. It doesn't feel... It doesn't have that sort of feel to it. Like, if is it natural or is it, you know, decaying, essentially. It just feels magical. Hmm. Well, that's the thing. All the uh, living magics feel uh, roughly one way, and then blood magic off to one side being like the bastard mutated Habsburg. <laughs> uh, yeah. But, Both, uh, like, blood magic stems from living magic, usually. It doesn't. But it's been corrupted. Not for vampires. It doesn't? No. You sure? Undead magic, Not even it's like a one? undead corrupted Isn't... thing. Was it literally, you know, Asamites, like that old ass child that's the only white guy in the entire Asamite clan? <laughs> Isn't that guy a fucking sorcerer? <laughs> that's special. Well, he used to be like a really good mage or something. Like mages, yes, they learned how to do blood sorcery, but um, it's not the same thing. It's like completely fucking inverted. Huh. Yeah, it is, it's one way, It's one thing to be a use blood magic and one thing to be a hemomancer. Yeah, Demi is actually Awaken right. Magic. Like a mage can manipulate blood among other things, but I, like that's the thing. Like the vampire magic, like the blood is powerful, but you're not doing through magic. You're hacking the powers of the blood to create magical effects. It it's a dirty hack on reality that isn't supposed to exist. Like, yeah, in a is sense... Is it, uh, like, linear magic, then? Kind of, yeah. yeah I mean, that's why right. disciplines are like that. It's it's uh, kind of... Like, it, disciplines aren't technically linear magic. They're just innate to the vampires. But, like, you can replicate linear magic as blood magic. It's just... It's like a bastard knockoff Chinese version of real linear <laughs> magic, except oh, it actually tends to be more powerful Chinese. in a way because vampires are powerful. I like how you say, you know, like you know, regular blood magic is basically a Chinese knockoff, and then you remember you have an actual Chinese knockoff of actual vampires. <laughs> what will the Chinese always do? <laughs> Wait a minute, they're not Ooh. knockoffs though. They're like their own. They're, they're not knockoffs though. They're their very own thing. But yeah, no, like, uh, Roll and die, bitch. like all the living magics, and that includes werewolves, uh, and even I think demons, um, they're kind of their own thing. Cause they all like stem from the power of faith, right? In a way, or the power of creation. And that's like tied closely to, well, shit that's alive. Whereas blood magic, the only connection to like that uh, in this cosmology divine source of power is well the curse so it's kind of it, like oh uh, how to put this like every vampire is a cleric <laughs> Oof. it's like, you can build a fuck ton of different engines that use gasoline, right? And uh, then you can have... Then you can just mine a bunch of uh, coal or put some firewood and make a crappy steam engine. And technically they do the same thing. But uh, the stench and uh, how they actually work is entirely different. <laughs> That's fair. Oh, well, no. Uh, Vampire yeah, magic, it's... actually, it's more like you're burning... Uh, dried dung but you know <laughs> <laughs> wow uh but yeah i just if we're gonna go on those clarifications because it is iffy and miffy and whatnot uh no it's it's I, fine if you rule it differently it's just fucky when some of us are so fucking familiar with the lore and we make assumptions about what our mage. character would know with yeah the first mage game is a technomancy game a technomancer game please send me uh, but essentially the, uh, magic, I'm saying it's, it's a case similar to necromancy or might be necromancy, but I'm clarifying that that is it's death magic or anti-living magic. However the fuck you want to go about it. Entropy. Oh, that's the thing. Death magic and entropy, they can still be part of living magic. Oh, yeah. fuck yourself. It's, yeah. it's literally a thing mages do. They can raise zombies. They can use entropy. It's. I know, just don't. <laughs> Fuck that. 
Um, okay, but there's the clarification. To a degree. Now, it was a mage actually being used here. Fuck you, find out. But, um, there you go. Two different magics. One is... No, it's okay, sure. Living but not living. There you go. And the one is just normal. I think just magic damage from DD. But all in all, let's continue just all. Everybody's gonna get three XP and even even though some bitches were late. And I'll give Adolf this too because he was on time and everything, just hurricane dead. Honestly, everybody gets he was actually on time. Give him three. He deserves it. It's not his fault. I, I'm giving three. Okay. Like Kraft gets three as well. I'm not gonna cut people out of XP. Uh, no. Even if he looks far too smug for my liking, uh, or actually no, he's he seems sad. Yes, make him cry. Take the XP away. Make him cry. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, because I am a person who usually doesn't get to sessions because reasons, uh, I will not cut people out of XP even if they don't arrive on the session because fuck you. Wow. Good ST. Weak will ST so, cannot assert dominance. <laughs> okay, okay. So, so to avoid like getting killed next session, we're just gonna sit by for I don't know a few sessions, so we can we can have more, more XP at our disposal. Well, if you're not at the session twice, you know, two times in a row. You know what? Fuck you. I'll find a way. I'm the storyteller, at the end, and I'm arbitrary. So go fuck yourself. <laughs> I'm not going to make a handout like these. This is this is how you must you know be on our sessions. So all these fighters but, that we're going to be fighting, they look the same. So they're all generics, right? Yeah. Asamite neonate number nine. I'm coming for you. <laughs> Asamites. Oh, I'll kill one of them. Get blood magic. Make my blood wine. Win win, right? If you if you really want to do number nine, I can roll initiative ten times separately, Chris. I want you to name you... each sheet and click through the token so we can see the nameplates. Go mm. <laughs> There's only one character. Oof. Uh, but one everybody, for all. it's just everybody a gets... single mage that is uh, <laughs> split himself into twenty clones. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. Everybody gets a willpower point back. Mm -hmm. And does anybody have anything for nature? Unless you are full, then go end your existence. Okay. Hmm. Chablon, are you missing some willpower? Yeah, like one, but uh, I'm not sure if I can justify getting one. Uh, Celebrant. Actually, with the knowledge of what you have down here and a bit of discovery and curiosity, right? You hmm. know, finding out Boudica, this religious bullshit, stuff like that, doing a puzzle, puzzle, even, uh, I'd say you can get it back. Nice. You know, the puzzle was really hard. I really feel like our characters learned a lot. Can we get an extra XP for that? No. <laughs> <laughs> it took us like try. two hours than me. I'll, uh, I'll take that opinion under consideration. And, uh, Kraft, how's, uh, how's Perfectionist going? <laughs> Understandable, sir. Have a nice day. So, let's end the uh, session properly. So everybody say goodbye, so Chris can click the button to stop. I'm actually Bye. tempted to buy path writing. Goodbye, guys. <laughs> uh, don't. <laughs> <laughs> wow! <laughs> Discouraging me to buy roleplay dots. Wow. Yes, you cannot up your path via XP. Not allowed. Fuck you. But that's the normal way. No, you're going to get it up or down, depending. Okay, if you want to uh, do it that way. Here I no, thought I'm that I gonna... could uh, roleplay it sufficiently to justify an upgrade. Oh yeah, I know. I'm waiting for you to come out. I want to see how uh, how destructive you're going to be during combat. Of the temple? Mm hmm But now, yeah, just I know just from that uh, holy temple, I looked and was like, yeah, no, that would be justifiable for an upgrade. I'm just waiting to uh, end this sort of so you can, so your soul can uh, simmer, simmer. I need a long rest to level up. Yes. Um, 
but yes, goodbye, goodbye. Craft, say goodbye, you bitch. Goodbye. I was interrupted there. That's why I couldn't say goodbye. Okay. Okay. Goodbye. See you guys. Uh, next, see you guys. All of you next Tuesday. Chris, sadly, tomorrow. Have fun. See, he says that, but uh, before the session, he confessed that Wednesdays are his favorite days. So, uh, Rudimer, were you there? Can you <laughs> confirm that he actually I, said that I, I'm a uh, good ST, or at least strongly implied it? Yeah, I was there.